Yes, my people, welcome back to the Liquidator Podcast. How are you all doing today? I'm buzzing because we are here to watch the main man, the legend, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, back in the ring, albeit for an exhibition fight. But is this a sign of things to come? Does Pacquiao want to get back into boxing full-time and move away from politics? Or is this just a little bit of fun? We will see how he looks against DKU today, who is a YouTuber slashed mixed martial artist. But guys, let me know in the live chat, how excited are you to see Manny Pacquiao back in the ring? Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already. I'm buzzing for this one. Pacquiao versus DKU coming up later tonight. By the way, by the way, we are also watching the Crawford versus Avanision card. Uh, Crawford versus Avanision, we are watching that as well. So we're going to have both screens up at the same time. But let me know in the live chat who you are going for. Hashtag Pacquiao, hashtag DKU. Do you think DKU can get a shock victory against Manny Pacquiao? Or, or do you think that maybe it's a stretch too far for him and the 43-year-old Filipino legend will get the job done? Let me know in the live chat what you think is going to happen. I would love to know. Get yourselves in the live chat. Let me know where you are watching from today. Are you from the Philippines and are you excited to see your man back in the ring? Are you from somewhere else tuning in to see Manny come back into boxing? I cannot bloody wait. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. In the poll at the moment, 97% of people going for a Manny Pacquiao victory. I mean, by the way, the only way we get a true victory is if we get a knockout here. So if Manny Pacquiao knocks him out, we will get a victory. If we go to the judges' scorecards, it will technically be a draw because exhibition bouts are not scored like a professional bout. So with that in mind, will we see Pacquiao go for broke? Will we see Pacquiao try and get that elusive knockout? Or will we see him have a little bit of fun in the ring? Not take it too seriously. Dance around DKU a bit. Put on a show for the fans paying in the stadium and at home. We will see. We will see five likes away from 10. Smash that like button now. Thank you all so, so much for joining. I just want to do a quick mention of England, of course, in the World Cup. Got knocked out, uh, which is very, very sad indeed. Very sad indeed. Um, but look, this, this is what happens. This is what happens in life. Uh, but commiserations to the England national team. They have been knocked out by France by two goals to one. Um, and and I, am, I am very down today about that. Very down indeed. So if you can get your love in the chat, guys, get me energized, happy again. I would really appreciate that because, look, England are out. It's sad times for me. I know a lot of people don't like the England football team. Uh, but look, it means a lot to me. It means the world to me. So um, yeah, sad times indeed. But happy times on a more positive note that Manny Pacquiao is back in the ring. I really hope we see this, give him the, the impetus and the, the confidence he needs to go and return to professional boxing because I would love to see him try one more little, one more encore against either Terence Crawford or Errol Spence Jr. And I'm not saying he would beat either of those two guys. It would be very, very difficult indeed. However, however, I think it would be really, really fun to just watch it and see how it goes. I think it would be really, really fun indeed. But let me know how you would have those fights going if indeed they do happen. Let's see what happens in this one though. DKU is someone I do not know anything about. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, if you guys could let me know in the live chat, who on earth is DKU? Hashtag who is DKU? That would really help me out. But we know a lot about Mr. Manny Pacquiao. The last time we saw him in the ring uh, was a couple of years ago now against Yadanis Ugas. Um, Ugas beat him via a unanimous decision victory, I believe. It might have even been a split decision victory. Uh, no, it was unanimous, so your Dennis Ugas was the last time. That was 
at the back end of 2021 in August. But before then, he had some phenomenal victories against Keith Thurman, of all people. Keith, the truth. Keith, sorry, Keith one-time Thurman. Uh, I'm thinking of Errol the True Spence. Adrian Broner before that and Lucas Matisse before that. I mean, look, Manny Pacquiao is an absolute legend. We love Manny Pacquiao on this channel. We love the country of the Philippines. We love the people. We love the vibes. Manny is such a good fighter. And I hope, I, I pray that we just see a madness from him today. By the way, I'm in a bit of an advertisement break in the Crawford versus Avanision fight. If you are just joining us, get yourselves in the live chat. Who is winning this one today between Manny Pacquiao and, of course, DKU? Let me know right now. In the live chat, hashtag Pacman or hashtag DKU. And like the video because we're four likes away from 10 and it would really, really help me out come on people come on get involved get involved with the fun get involved with the fun tim hall says no rapping please tim hall he's coming in he's asking for no rapping but i tell you what mr timothy there might just be some rapping mate and if you can't handle it get yourself out of the kitchen because you cannot handle the heat you cannot handle the flames that i will be a spitting look i'll try not to but sometimes tim Love takes over, vibes takes over, and that's just what happens. It's just what happens at the end of the day, mate. But good to have you in, Tim. How are you doing today, buddy? Tim Horn's going for Pacquiao. Oh, that's surprising. I, I really thought everyone would think well, DKU would win this one. I, I really thought DKU had a big chance here. Kano's insane. Hashtag Pacman. Good to have you in, buddy. Yeah, sorry. I, I originally had two streams set up. Um... Crawford versus Avanision was supposed to happen at 9 a.m., like the main event, but it just, I don't know what happened with that card. It seems they started it late, or maybe the scheduling was slightly wrong, but it turns out the main event for that one's probably not going to happen until 12 p.m., maybe, but yeah, let, let, let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm watching both. Uh, the Manny Pacquiao stream starts in about an hour. Until then, we're just going to tune in for the Terence Crawford. Terence Bud Crawford coming up against David Avanision. The fight that no one wants to see, basically. <laughs> the fight that no one wants to see. Um, essentially, Crawford... Look, I mean, the thing that annoys me is... Crawford could have come up against Keith Thurman. He, he could have come up against anyone, really. But Avanision, no one wanted to see that. Absolutely no one wanted to see that. I don't know why he's done that, but oh well. Doing well. Do you know the odds? Let's have a little check, shall we? Let's have a little check, shall we? I'll be surprised if they're even offering odds on this one. They might not be because it's an exhibition fight. Uh, let's see if there's any odds. One to nine. Uh, DKU is seven to one, which is pretty incredible. I mean, I'm surprised that DKU has such decent odds there. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. Wait, why is an 000 fight in a legend? It's just one of those exhibition bouts, Kano. Um... Pacquiao just fighting against this. He's like a YouTuber slash mixed martial artist. Uh, that's that's the, that's what I'm hearing on the grapevine. But I'm surprised that Manny Pacquiao is only one to nine. Seven to one for DKU seems very, very generous indeed. Um, maybe the bookmakers just don't want to risk losing too much money. Uh, but good to have you in, guys. I mean, look, I think we don't really need to overthink it. Of course, we think Manny Pacquiao will win. I think the question really is... Do we see Manny Pacquiao come out and try and get this geezer out of there as quick as humanly possible? Or do we see him come in and sort of put on a show for the fans at home and in the stadium? I think the latter, I think almost Floyd Mayweather-esque in his exhibition bouts, we're going to very much see a guy that's going to come in, dance around the ring, really put on a show for his Filipino brothers and sisters. Uh, he's a showman Pacquiao at the end of the day, and I'd be surprised if the reason he's got in the ring with DKU today is just to simply just to simply sort of knock him out in the first round. I just wouldn't see the value in Pacquiao doing that. And Pacquiao has been saying this week that he's interested potentially in coming out of retirement in the professional game and fighting against Errol the Truth, Spence or Terence Bud Crawford. So it's kind of 
Uh, ironic, really, that Terence Crawford is fighting today because, look, if Manny Pacquiao wants to come back, the scheduling couldn't be more perfect in terms of Crawford fighting today and Pacquiao fighting today. Give it a couple months, they could both be ready for that fight. I mean, look, I thoroughly expect Crawford would win that fight. However, it's a very interesting one indeed. Damn, thanks, man. Yeah, man, no worries. Good to have you in, Tim. How's everyone doing? What's your reaction to England versus France? I did mention earlier that it's a very sad day for me. Um, look, what, what more can I say? I think England put everything on the line. They did everything they could, and ultimately they just didn't have enough in the end. France, they're the champions. They know how to win. They've been in those big situations before. I am disappointed in Harry Kane. I am disappointed in Harry Kane, to be honest with you. I'm not going to completely rip into him and say, oh, you should have scored. It's disgraceful. But look, at the end of the day, what that signifies to me last night or a few hours ago now is that England in this generation are probably never going to win anything. Um, this year felt like our chance. You know, in four years' time, Harry Kane will be very old. Maguire Stone's very old and... You know, unless we see some really top-tier strikers and defenders come through, I think we'll struggle. Carl Walker's getting old as well. Pickford's not getting any younger. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Commiserations to me. Congratulations to France as well because it, it was toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It was two of the best teams in the world coming up against each other. And cheers to them. Best of luck to them against Morocco. Although we will be supporting Morocco. But don't tell them that. I'm just going to try and refresh my Avenision versus um, Crawford stream. It just seems to be slowing down a bit. But we have paid for the Manny Pacquiao fight. The coverage starts at uh, 11 a.m. But we'll probably just put the prelims on until then. See if we can get the prelims on for those. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the prelims on. If you are just joining us after 49 votes, 96% of people going for Manny Pacquiao. I don't think I've seen a vote as one-sided as that in my life. Make sure you like the video, guys. There's over 50 of you in here. Uh, we could get to 50 likes right now if you wanted to help me out. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're 58 subscribers away from 5,000. Imagine if we could reach that mark today. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. It's what we've been working towards all year. All year we've been working towards it. And if we can get there today, that would be insane. So like the video, subscribe if you're new. More boxing matches coming up. I mean, this morning we had Josh Warrington. Josh Warrington got absolutely shocked uh, by Lopez. Um, and fair play to Lopez because no one was expecting Lopez to win that fight. And Josh Warrington, um, he, he wasn't at the races. Lopez took him out of there quite well. Very, very good fight from Lopez indeed. Commiserations to Josh Warrington as a Brit. Next week, we have Naya Anue back in the ring, which is incredible. And interestingly, last time out, he fought against a Filipino fighter in Nanito Donere. So <laughs> boxing is where it should be at the moment. In a way, in a way, we've got a lot of fights. That's what we want to see at the end of the day. A lot of fights, people fighting. Um, and we've got two fighters here today, Manny Pacquiao and DKU. DKU, baby. DKU, baby. Yeah, let me just do a quick refresh of the old stream. Between Terence Bug Crawford. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hoping we should be able to get it back up now. I'm not sure what happened there, but hopefully we can get it back up. Then we could just start doing a little bit of casual commentary before the Pacquiao event starts. Before the Pacquiao event starts. Sorry, one sec, guys. Refreshing the stream here. Sorry, guys. Just give me a moment. Make yourselves a cup of coffee while I'm I'm messing around in the background here. Make yourselves a cup of coffee, mate. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Trouty's in. What up, Liquidator? Good to have you in, man. I did see your comment, by the way, on my post. Haven't uh, had a chance to respond yet, mate, but I appreciate the comment all the same. How are you doing, buddy? Nice to see Pac-Man back in the ring. Exactly, mate. Last time he was in the ring, 
uh, was against your Dennis Ugas back in August of 2021. It was a loss at the end of the day, so it'll be fun to fun to get him back in the ring today. Fun to watch him back in the ring today. I'm buzzing for it, mate. I love Pacquiao. Pacquiao's one of my greatest heroes, man. He really, really is. He, you know, he's he's just been there the whole way. Does DK have a chance? Can he punch? DK by KO must be 12 to 1. 50 would bring back 600. You've got to remember, Tim, this is an exhibition as well. So the only way we can get a victory for either of these fighters is by way of knockout. Look, DK might have a small chance because, look, Pacquiao's 43 years old. DK, you is an MMA uh, MMA guy, he's not at any like high level, he's more of a YouTuber than an MMA fighter, but DK is not really someone I know much about, to be perfectly honest with you, mate, but of course, he's he's got a puncher's chance, and what I mean by that, and if you don't know the terminology, a puncher's chance is where, <laughs> if, you're in the, if you're in the boxing ring, if you're punching someone, if you're facing up against someone, they're throwing hands at you, there's always a chance that they might knock you out, mate, so look, there is a puncher's chance, whether I think it's going to happen or not, I'm not sure. I or Whenever an MMA guy comes up against a boxer, I will never back the MMA guy. For one reason only. Striking is a completely different skill set to boxing. Because if you think about it in terms of MMA, right, you're wearing smaller gloves. So you can even be on the back foot and throw a jab. And that will cause a lot of damage for your opponent. In boxing, you need to step forward and swing from the hips. And even the jab, it needs to pop up, pop up. In in, in MMA, you can sit back, dance around a bit and, and strike it and tag your opponent. I think that's the word, tag your opponent. So whenever these MMA guys come up against boxers, I just think it's a completely different ball game. Now, DKU would have been training for boxing for sure. Like he's not come into this thinking that his MMA experience or his MMA striking style could get him through this fight. That's I, I, by no means necessary. That's not what I'm saying. But I just think the natural ability of DKU, um, if he's naturally accustomed to striking rather than boxing, then I think he'll struggle here today. Because look, although he is 43, we're talking about the best of the best here in, in Manny Pacquiao. We're, we're not talking about any old schmuck from down the, down the boxing gym. Um... And the fact he took Ugas 12 rounds just last year already gives me concerns for DKU. Uh, personally, I think Manny Pacquiao has this all his own way, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, if you could take Ugas 12 rounds last year, I do not see how DKU has a chance in hell of winning this fight. That, that's my personal opinion. Let me know. Hopefully that gives you a little bit, a little bit of idea about how I see this fight going. Uh, but let me know in the live chat, mate. Let me know in the live chat. We have it. 10 likes, by the way. Appreciate that, guys. Keep them coming in, of course. Absolute legends. I'm just going to get... I have a little stand for my phone because we have got the Avenision versus Crawford stream back up. Uh, just going to get that on my other headphones. One sec, guys. Sorry about this, guys. It's just this little thing here. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen it before. You just put it like that, and then you put your phone on top of it. Uh, just makes watching it a little bit easier. Do you know what I mean? Just makes watching it a little bit easier. If you're just joining us, get yourselves it. Oh, there's a fighter coming in on this card here. And he is wearing a full gladiator suit, shield, sword, armor, helmet. This is pretty insane. And I mean, remember Deontay Wilder against Fury in the second fight was talking about how his, his outfit was weighing him down. If that was weighing Mr. Deontay Wilder down, who's one of the biggest, baddest men in boxing, uh, then this guy might struggle once he gets into the ring. Surely it's not medically advisable before a boxing match to wear a full suit of armour. Steven Nelson makes his way to the ring. Sword in hand. Not sure how that's legal to hold a sword in public, but we will see. If you are just joining us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing a double watch along between Manny Pacquiao versus DKU and Terence Bud Crawford versus David. Uh, sorry, T Terence Crawford versus David Anision. England eliminated, says Simone Sanfilippo. Thanks for coming in. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty mentally just destroyed, to be honest with you. Um, you guys know I always try and stay positive on this channel, but I'm really just disillusioned with the World Cup now. Um, I'm really going to struggle to watch the rest of the matches, and I hate to say that as someone that does watch-alongs, but it all just went wrong for me last night. YouTube gave me a community guideline strike because I tried to do an England versus France stream. They gave me a community guideline strike. They threatened to ban my channel for a week. And then, so I didn't end up doing that. Sat at home, watched the game. You know how it went down. England lost, missed the penalty. It's agonizing, man. So look, hopefully, guys, just give me a bit of time. I'll be back on the football stuff soon. But it, it it's like a religion to me at the end of the day. It's like a religion to me at the end of the day. So it really does mentally impact me when, when England go out of a World Cup or a European Championships. We've been through a lot of pain, guys. So <laughs> yeah, we've been through a lot of pain. Nelson is in the ring. I need to check who he's coming up against, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Good evening, my friend. Good to have you in, buddy. How are you doing, mate? Thanks for coming in, bro. Guys, if you haven't already, do like the video. We've got Ballard versus Nelson coming up next. Ballard in the red and white trunks. Nelson in the black, I believe, although I haven't seen him yet. So let's see. Nelson versus Ballard. There we go. The equalizer he's called. Sounds a bit like Liquidator. Sounds a bit like Liquidator. James Ballard, the equalizer, baby. We'll do a little bit of commentary on this one. Not too much. We'll keep ourselves in the chat as well. But here he is, Stephen Nelson. 17 wins, zero losses, zero draws. He came into the ring in a suit of armor. 14 knockouts for this man, Stephen Nelson. Nice, explain. Well, I didn't know KO was the only way to win. So do you think a draw is most likely? I can't remember the last time Pat got a KO. Has DK been KO'd in MMA? Yeah, look, I, I can't confirm that the exhibition won't have scorecards. I, 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 I haven't got that confirmation yet, but I think it has to be a knockout to get a win. That, that's as I understand it, guys. Has DK been KO'd in MMA? I can have a look for you. Let me have a look for you right now. DKU MMA record. Let's have a look as we get going in this fight between Nelson and Ballard. I mean, I don't think DKU's even had a professional MMA fight. I think he literally might just be an MMA YouTuber, mate. Just from my quick research there. But let's see. Steven Nelson versus James Ballard. James Ballard does have a little bit of a height advantage but interestingly Stephen Nelson has a reach advantage both weighing in at 174 75 pounds or so here we go Cyril Rain says Pacquiao my top winner and my good friend there sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name says Pac wins obviously uh yeah I mean I'm pretty sure Pac wins but you never know in this game you never know DKU has a puncher's chance at the end of the day he has a puncher's chance oh good one two there by Nelson by the way, guys, if you just join us, just to let you know, we're watching two different cards at the moment. We've got Bud Crawford versus uh, David Anision on one screen, and then we'll have Pacquiao versus DKU on another. Nelson's starting to piece up Ballard here at the start of this fight. Oh, Nelson's golden in with that jab. Little uppercut there, overhand right, and Ballard looks slow here. Ballard looks very, very slow indeed. Left hook and a straight right by Nelson. Tim Hall just says, ha, he loves it, mate. He absolutely loves it. I just, YouTube really have annoyed me, man, uh, giving me a community guideline strike. I understand that my, my content is a little bit clickbaity, okay? But would you guys not agree that YouTube have literally set up the algorithm in a way that forces people to clickbait? Like, if you type in right now, I don't know, Pacquiao versus DKU, you'll see hundreds of fake streams that literally just have a picture or say link in the description. But then they penalize people like me who are actually trying to provide real commentary and, and real substance. When does Bob versus Venetian begin? It should be in maybe 
an hour and a half, I want to say. I'm, I'm not really too sure. With that one, mate, good left hook here by Nelson, by the way. He's got Ballard on the ropes and then an uppercut by Nelson. Ballard's wobbling around a bit. They, that fight was actually supposed to happen at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, sorry, 9 a.m. Uh, my time, 9 p.m. Eastern time, mate. So I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that it hasn't happened yet. I think, I think they just decided to change it. I'm not so sure. So we might see it in an hour and a half. Who knows? Overhead, overhand by Ballard there. Nelson gets back on that uppercut and then a couple of straight right hands. Could today be the day you reach 5K? I don't know, mate. I mean, if we do it today, it has to be during this stream. We're currently 55 away. Oh, good left hand there by Nelson. He puts him down with a straight right. That is beautiful boxing by Steven Nelson. Ballard on the canvas. And I'm not sure he'll recover from this. The referees waved it off. What what a combination by Steven Nelson there. Finished him with a straight right hand. Incredible stuff. Steven Nelson gets himself on the ropes. And what a first fight to commentate on, guys. Steven Nelson takes out Ballard in the first round. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Could today be the day you reach 5K? It might just be baby. Yeah, I mean, Bud versus uh, Avanesian is the is the fight nobody wanted to see, mate. It just, I, I, nobody wanted to see, but look, I love Bud Crawford. I think he's one of the best technical boxers around. Obviously, top 10 pound for pound by far. So look, man, I felt like I had to watch it. Um, I, felt, I felt a real desire to see Bud Crawford back in the ring. And look, it's not the fight we all wanted to see. I get that, but I'm going to watch it all the same. I'm going to watch it all the same, baby. Three lakhs away from 20. Three lakhs away from... DKU is 43-year-old YouTuber. No way he stands... Surely DKU is not 43 years old. I don't think he's 43, is he? I know Manny Pacquiao is 43, but I didn't think DKU was 43. Let's see. DKU is 42. He's 43. You're right. What on earth? Why, why is he fighting Manny Pacquiao? How has this fight been made? Okay, you've confirmed my thinking. You've confirmed my thinking. Uh, DKU has zero chance then. I did. I thought he was about 25, mate. I mean, he looks young. He's clearly not got those Caucasian genetics like myself where you look 50 at the age of 25. Yeah, Tim, I agree with you now, mate. I don't know, Liquidator. Guy's first time in the ring... I'm not sure he even has a puncher's chance. Usually you have to have some KOs before you actually have a puncher's chance. I agree with you now. Based on the fact we've, we've learned a lot. We've gone on a journey together, guys, over the last sort of 30 minutes. Because I started off thinking, because I looked at this and it said DKU MMA. So I was thinking, all right, all right. He can maybe strike. You know, he might have a bit of a chin. But if he, if indeed what we... I'm, I'm assuming he's got some amateur fights. But what does that mean when you come up against Pac-Man? We've learned he hasn't had any professional fights, MMA or boxing. We've learned he's 43 years old, so he's the same age as Pacquiao. I'm assuming they're just good mates. Yeah, Ballard there, absolutely taken out by Steven Nelson. And Steven Nelson showed that he didn't care about wearing that suit of armor. He was prepped and ready to go, mate. Let's go. What did you guys make of um, the England match, though, if you do watch football? What did you make of it? Do you, do you think England did well or, or still undefeated? His 18th victory now. I believe that's his 15th knockout. Steven Nelson. Winner by TKO in round one. This is insane. It's going to be hilarious. I mean, you might as well put the liquidator in there. You might as well put the liquidator in there. I mean... Me and Manny Pacquiao pretty well matched physically. Maybe not in terms of skill, but physically we're pretty well matched, me and Manny Pacquiao. They just asked Stephen Nelson, did you expect this fight to go as quick as you did? He goes, of course. <laughs> I love boxers, man. They're, they're a different breed. <laughs> First round knockout. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what was going to happen. I knew it from the start, mate. I knew it from the start. Yeah, Stephen Nelson just saying, don't talk down on the man. Yeah, love that, man. Harry Kane made me not want to be a Spurs fan no more. I mean, look, I'm going to cut Harry Kane some slack, man. 
biggest moment. He stepped up. He stood up to be counted. And ultimately, he failed. And and this is the sport. This is the sport. It could have been anyone. Uh, You would have hoped that the captain could step up and score like he did in the first penalty. But my issue with it is, is the fact he didn't get the penalty on target. For me, that's criminal. For me, that's criminal. Stephen Nelson just saying, I'm happy to be back. He says, happy to be back with BLK Prime, new promotion company. Yeah, I like that. It's been it's been a good card so far from what I've seen, guys. I know I've only kind of watched one fight so far, but I was off stream watching some of it in the background while I got ready, got, got myself woken up and stuff like that. you got to remember, guys, it's 10.20 a.m. here, my time. I was watching England until, what, 5, 5.30 a.m. I then slept for a couple of hours, and then I, I set this stream up straight away. Congratulations, Stephen Nelson. Love it, mate. The late free kick that just missed too. It just wasn't England. Yeah, exactly, man. Harry Maguire just missing. But it gets to the point, Trouty, where you think, will it ever be England's day? That that's that's the thing. That's what kills me because how many times are we going to say, it, you know, it wasn't our day today before someone just stands up and be counted? And the one thing I will say that disappointed me about England. You have to score from open play to beat France. You cannot rely on penalties. You cannot rely on penalties. Yeah, Ballard there. It was a good stoppage by the referee because Ballard was just scrambling on the floor. And as we see, Steven Nelson has his shield again as he leaves the ring. Yeah, I think we might have Bud Crawford soon, guys. Let me let me just check something. Let me check check what time the Stephen Nelson fight was supposed to be on in comparison to the rest of the card. Stephen, uh, let's have a look. I've got the card here. Oh, ha- hang on, I haven't got the card. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second while I'm doing this. Just smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. Also, if every single one of you are in the stream right now that didn't hasn't subscribed yet, if you all subscribed now, we would get to our goal of 5,000 subscribers. We would just do it. So if you want to help me out, just click that subscribe button. Let me know in the live chat where you are watching from today. Are you watching from the Philippines? Are you happy to see your legend, your hero back in the ring? Or are you watching from somewhere else? Just interested to see Manny do it again in between those ropes 70 years of pain yeah i mean 25 for me i just gave away my age (laughs) one year of trying to hide your age and you finally give it away bud crawford's in the house baby terence crawford's back 38 wins zero losses 29 ko's pound for pound best welterweight wbo champion is back in the building baby Will we see him get it on against Errol the Truth Spence next year? Or will we see him get it on against a newly reinvigorated Manny Pacquiao? Let's see. Let's see. I'm buzzing though, guys. I'm buzzing. Because Terence Crawford is someone, even if he's coming up against someone you expect him to beat, he's going to put on craftsmanship. He's going to put on skill. He's going to put on a show. Oh, okay. It's not Crawford next. But, by the way, guys... If you watch MMA, if you watch UFC, Chrissy Cyborg is fighting in boxing tonight. Chrissy Cyborg is fighting tonight, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, let's just see. So, Steven Nelson. Okay, I think we've got a fair few fights before Crawford versus Avanision. By my calculations, we've got Jeremiah Milton versus Dejuan Calloway. Arnold Kigai versus Eduardo Baez. Chrissy Cyborg versus Gabrielle Holloway. That would be interesting to see Chrissy Cyborg wearing her Brazil kit. Not sure I'd do that given the context of what happened in the World Cup, but it is what it is. Uh, Chrissy Cyborg is fighting today against Gabrielle Holloway. And then it will be Terence Bud Crawford versus David Avenision. The Manny Pacquiao coverage starts in 35 minutes so of course i'll have that on one side of my screen i'll have uh bud crawford on the other side and we'll flick between um you know whatever we want to go with we'll be focusing mainly on the manny pacquiao card because i think there's going to be some exciting fights there but maybe we'll tune back in 
uh, once we get to maybe Chrissy Cyborg or Bud Crawford as well. Yeah, Jeremiah Milton versus Dejuan Callaway is up next. Will we get another big knockout on this card, which, by the way, has been a good card. I mean, people have spoken about it, you know, not the biggest fights, but it's been a fun card all the same. Let's have 10 more years of pain. It's never coming home again. One day it will, mate. Kano, I believe in our lifetime it will come home. I believe it will come home. We just have to keep the belief up. That's all we have to do. Keep the belief up and one day it will come home. Air conditioning on now. Boom. Boom, baby, boom. By the way, in the Manny Pacquiao card, we've got a, a bunch of interesting fights. Here comes Callaway. I mean, Callaway is a true sumo style heavyweight. Look at him coming in. Zero abs, zero muscles, but pure knockout power. He wouldn't look out of place in your local McDonald's, and I'm not fat shaming him because, look, this is a boxer. He is definitely more athletic than me. But that is a pure sumo style body and I absolutely love to see it, mate. I absolutely love to see it. Back to what I was saying. Some of the fights on the Manny Pacquiao card. We've got Sean Garcia versus Swang Ho Yang. We've got Marcel Davidson versus Yoon Bin Han. We've got Maurice Lee versus Shin Yong Kim. Nico Hernandez versus Jai Yong Kim. Abel Mendoza versus Christian Rubin Mino. And Min Wook Kim versus Marcus Davison. And then Jose Luis Castillo, by the way. The, another legend getting back in the ring against Min Guk Ju. Lots of fights. Some of those may have happened on the preliminary card, which are not part of the pay-per-view, which I pay for. Here comes Jeremiah Milton. He is wearing an almost Santa Claus-looking red and white robe. Maybe he's wearing those colors for England. Let's see. Southgate isn't with us for the Euros 2024, I don't think. I mean, I hope he is, man. Unless we can get a world, world, world-class manager in. Just keep him. Trouty, my question is, will Manny even try for the KO because it's a charity match? I think he will. I think he will, but I think he'll do that in the later rounds. I don't think he's going to go gung-ho and knock him out in the first round. He'll want as many people as possible to buy the pay-per-view. And the, the way of doing that is by is by keeping the fight going on as long as possible. Here we go, though. Milton versus Galloway. We'll get that on screen right now, my good friends. We'll reset the timer to three minutes. We've got another big, big fight going on here. Let's go. Milton versus Galloway, baby. Yeah, I mean, look, I hope the Crawford fight's a good one. I hope he puts on a show. It would be very disappointing if it doesn't quite live up to the billing, I suppose. Here we go. We're not going to do full crazy commentary yet. We're going to preserve our energy until until the big, big shit. And what I, what I mean by big shit is Bud Crawford and, of course, Manny Pacquiao. But let's see. What do you guys think? Do you think Manny Pacquiao should... Return to a, being a professional fighter. Would you would you say that's a good approach that you should take? Dejuan Callaway, by the way, five wins, one loss, five knockouts. And that pure knockout power, he's the one with that sumo body, by the way. Clearly on show because every single win he's had, he's knocked out his opponent. I'd be very surprised in this fight, guys, if we do not get a knockout right here, right now. I'd be very, very surprised indeed. Here he is, though, from the red corner. He's got seven wins, zero losses, six by knockout. So in all of these guys' wins between both of these fighters, only one of their fights has not resulted in a KO victory. Jarrett Meyer Milton, seven wins, six by knockout. Here we go. Smash the like button if you haven't already. We're at 22 right now. There's over 100 of you in. If you all hit that thumbs up, it would really help out the channel. And I really just appreciate you guys coming in today. Milton versus Galloway. What do you guys reckon? Oh, is it going to be the more athletic build of Milton? Or is Galloway going to get an incredible knockout victory? I feel Milton takes this one. I'm going athleticism over pure knockout power. Let me know in the live chat what you are going for. We've got Roel Urzal coming in with a Philippines flag. Good to have you in, buddy. Love it. Love all my Filipino brothers and sisters. I actually live in Singapore, not far from the Philippines. 
So Southeast Asian and Southeast Asian fighters always have a soft spot for me. By the way, Dejuan Calloway weighs 387 pounds. That might be the most heavy heavyweight I've ever seen. And we have got started here in the first round. 387 pounds. There's going to be no movement from him. There's going to be no bouncing around on his feet. But I'll tell you what there is going to be. He is going to be throwing bombs. No, it's going to be a draw, says Tim Hall. Okay, okay. What, in this one we're talking about now? Is that what you're saying? Yasmin Musico watching from General Santos City, Philippines. So you're from the same city as Manny Pacquiao. I think Manny Pacquiao's from General Santos, is he? Good work to the body by Milton there. Good to have you in, Yasmin. Thank you for coming in, my dude. Thank you to all my Filipino brothers and sisters coming in. And if you're not from the Philippines, thank you to you. Also, let me know in the live chat where you are watching from as we see Milton try and take... Oh, good right hand from Milton. And then he goes one, two. Sorry, from Galloway and Milton's not backwards. Good work by Galloway there. Sorry, just slightly got their names mixed up. Double jab and a straight right hand by Milton. No pack fight will be a draw. I don't know, man. I think Pac might go for the knockout, mate. I think he might go for it, dude. Yeah, Galloway just suddenly making things difficult. Yasmin Musico says, yes, nearby Pacquiao's house. Lucky you, man. Do you, do you go around there for, for dinner, food? Another big right hand from the 387-pound man, Galloway. And Milton right now is just getting back on that jab because he's cautious of the power coming off the gloves of Galloway. Milton goes to the body with a straight right hand. Galloway just steps backwards. This is a slow paced fight, but you feel at any given moment it could be ended with a flush knockout victory. Pull him for a KO from the fat guy in this match. <laughs> yeah, look, let's say how it is. He is fat, but he's clearly got good boxing ability as he goes double jab and a straight right hand there. Fair play to him. Milton, by the way, is. He's still packing a lot of weight, but I feel he just needs to get be a bit quicker here. Be a bit quicker. Start to load up combinations to the body. That body's there for the taking. Obviously, don't expose yourself to a counter over the top, but speed up the combinations a bit, Milton's. Very slow from him as well right now. And look, you're not the one with 387 pounds of weight, mate. Galloway with a jab. Good work to the body by Milton. Very slow pace here. But I'm telling you, we will see a knockout in this fight. There's no way Galloway is going the full rounds here. 10 seconds in this first round, though. Good jab from both fighters there. Good left hook there by Milton. And then a straight right hand at the end. And that's the end of the first round. I mean, look. Difficult to score. Difficult to score. I probably... Uh, I probably just edged the way of Milton because I think he landed more jabs in that round. I just edged towards Milton, but it could have gone either way, to be honest with you. We'll go Milton in the first. Milt, as we'll call him on the scorecard. If you're just joining in the skies, get yourselves in the live chat. Hashtag Pacquiao or hashtag DKU. Let me know in this live chat. And also, hashtag Bud Crawford, hashtag uh, David Anision, that's a bit of a long hashtag, but let me know which fighter you want to win as we enter the second round between Milton and Galloway. Good first round. There were some bom bombs thrown. And as I say, we could see a knockout in this match easily. Easily, easily, easily. Thank you to all 100 of you in. Don't be shy. Get your comments in. Let me know where you're, who, who you're supporting. Here we go. We're back, though. We are back. Just have a look at the subscriber count because I think we're edging very close. I hate, I hate to keep saying it. 42 subscribers away from 5,000. Wow. 42 away. Get yourselves in. Get yourself subscribing because if we hit 5,000, not only are we going to do a Q and A, but eventually we will also release membership schemes on the channel. That's a good right hand over the top from Milton. And the defense of 
Galloway is starting to slow down here, but he's checking the punch as well. Look, his head movement isn't the quickest, but he's got good hand movement defensively, has Galloway. I mean, look, if Milton loads up, Galloway's there for the taking. That's a good overhand right by Milton. And Galloway, to his credit, hits him with a counter right hand. Counter straight right hand there. Ooh, big overhand right from Galloway. And then Milton comes on the inside with an uppercut. Double jab there from Milton. I would not like to be hit by this guy, man. 387 pounds. What, what do you reckon that feels like, really? I can't compare it to... Do, do you think it's worse getting punched by a boxer who's 380 pounds or someone throwing a brick at you? What do you think hurts more? I think a brick. I think I prefer to be hit by a brick. Double jab by Galloway. Milton gets on that jab as well. Milton, to be fair, is fighting this smart because slowing it down just gives Galloway less opportunities to counter. And, and that's what Galloway wants. He wants that big counter over the top, that big counter right hook. And if Milton slows it down, there's less space, there's less gaps, there's less opportunities for him to land that counter power shot. As Milton gets back on that jab and he goes over hand right and there was a little bit of a wince there from Galloway. Good work to the body off the left hand by Milton. I also prefer the brick, says Trouty. <laughs> This is what we do on the channel. We discuss whether you'd prefer to get hit by a 380-pound man or get thrown a brick at you. Okay, what about this? A clean flush right hook from a 380-pound man or someone runs over both of your feet with a motorbike and that jab looked like it hurt there from Galloway. It knocked Milton backwards, but Milton gets himself back into the center of the ring. Very well done from him. Oh, big shots from both fighters there. And I thought we might have seen someone flop to the canvas. Milton is kind of baiting Galloway in a little bit. It's the end of the second. I mean, look, Milton's going to be winning these rounds, guys. And I've got him winning that one as well. But I, <laughs> that's not the game plan of Galloway. Galloway's not here to win rounds. Galloway's there to wait for the opportunity to knock this guy out. And by the way, that's not doing a discredit to Galloway by any means because these rounds are very, very close. He's definitely landing uh, Galloway. He's definitely putting together some good combinations, but because of his weight, because of his speed, he just doesn't land as many punches as Milton. I'll draw the line at a killer B attack. I'll take the punch in that case. <laughs> Love it, man. I think it'd be more like a bowling ball than a brick. Their hands are enormous. They did actually say that, Tim, on the commentary in my ear. They were talking about a bowling ball. A bowling ball with a right hand, I think, is exactly what they said. Dina Manuel is in. Pacquiao, good to have you in, Dina. Thanks for coming in. How are you today? How is everyone doing today, by the way? What have you got up to on your weekends? Let me know. Let me know. I mean, I'm interested to know about your lives. Um, it's a community at the end of the day. By the way, this one is a six-round bout. I forgot to mention that at the start of the fight. I mean, a fair fair play for Milton for taking this fight. Over 130 pounds, I think, he's been outweighed by. Tim Hall says, ha, love it, man. Are you, are you watching along with me, Tim? Are you watching either of these cards? Or are you just going to be listening in today, mate? 200 votes in the poll, 92% for Manny Pacquiao, love it. Or oh, as Galloway gets back on that jab. Jab to the midsection. Oh, good body work there by Milton. Overhand right by Milton and Galloway gets back on that jab again. Oh, Milton with a stiff jab and that's got to hurt. Oh, and a big left hand there by Milton as well. But in between that, Galloway did land a decent left hook. And they slow it down again. A couple of jabs there from Milton. It's an interesting fight. I mean, this honestly, this has been one of the most interesting fights I've watched in 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 recent months. The reason is, it's just not something you usually see. It's not something you usually see. Oh, good one too there from Milton again. And he, this is the best round for him so far, I believe. He's starting to take over this fight. Another one too. 
And does that hurt Galloway? Maybe not. No, just listening. I play cards. I'm in a tournament now. Are oh, you doing some online poker, mate? Is that what you're going for? Doing some online poker. Love that, man. Love that indeed. Hopefully you win some money, buddy. I had some money on uh, Pepe, the centre-back for Portugal, to get a shot on target and get yellow carded uh, in the match against Morocco. And I was really disappointed, man, because at the end of the match, he had a header that just went wide. If that went in, he probably, he probably um, would have taken his shirt off if he scored in the last minute. I mean, I say probably, he definitely would have. He definitely would have. Just getting the stream back up. It was being slightly slow there. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Good jab there from both fighters if we have got the stream back up. I'm in a casino. South Point in Vegas. Love it, man. Good luck to you. My friend is moving to Vegas. So, oh, stiff double jab there from Galloway. Oh, but then a good overhand right there from Milton. Milton goes to the body with a straight right hand. Then he pieces up Galloway with a right hook and a left hook. I mean, look, it's another round for Milton. It's another round for Milton. But these are close rounds as well. And look, I, I know some judges that will always favor the bigger man in these fights. I know some judges that will do that. I know that they will. If you haven't already, guys, as we enter the third round in this one, please do smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new as well. By the way, the coverage for Pacquiao does start in 19 minutes. As soon as that coverage starts, we're going to have that up on the street, uh, screen as well. Uh, not on my screen, but I will be watching along with it. But let me know your predictions for Pacquiao versus DKU. I'm so shocked that DKU is 42 years old. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted that he's he's managed to get himself... I mean, who is he? Who is D... Does anyone know in the live chat who DKU is? Does anybody know? Please let me know. Thanks, he would love it. Weather is fantastic. Yeah, man, hopefully I'll be able to visit him out there at some point. I'm actually meeting up with all my friends in Australia in a couple of weeks for New Year's Eve. So uh, look forward to that as well, of course. Jab from Galloway at the start of this round. Because it's ing. Oh, good piece. Piece of work there by Milton. He goes jab to the body. Oh, big short overhand right there from Milton. And Galloway's chin is very, very good indeed, by the way. Very, very good indeed. 39 subscribers away. Oh, I think we might do it, lads. I think we actually might do it. Oh, Thought that overhand right there from Milton that he, uh, Galloway that he set up with a jab was going to land there. Stiff jab from both fighters. I just want to see Milton move his hands a little bit more. I don't need to see him bouncing about on his feet, but I want to see more feints from him. More feints from him. That's what we need. Because it's England forever. We are England together. Oh, good uppercut there by Milton. Galloway again takes it well, though. I mean, this could go the rounds, guys, if his chin remains firm throughout this fight. And it wouldn't surprise me if it does. Galloway, I've been really impressed with him. Oh, stiff right hand there by Milton. I think that might have hurt Galloway as we say that. And Milton keeps calm. He gets back on that jab. He goes one, two straight. He's got Galloway on the ropes. Milton might be able to take him out here. Milton might just be able to take him out here. Let's see. He doesn't really load up. He's very wary of the weight coming off the gloves of Galloway as Galloway throws a double jab. Oh, but he gets tagged with a left hook there by Galloway. And Galloway nods his head as if to say, yeah, man, I'm still here. Don't think it's going to be easy for you. Oh, big left hook there by Galloway. And he's on the ropes, but he's just throwing hands. Guys, any, any big plans for the weekend? Any big plans for the weekend? Let me know, of course. You absolute legends. 
Milton's still on the ropes here, but he, and he's, j sorry, Galloway's jabbing Milton backwards to try and get himself off the ropes, but he's stuck in the corner. Oh, a stiff right hand there from Milton. Galloway with that jab again, and Milton needs to be wary of that jab because when you're 380 pounds, there's even the chance that your jab can knock someone out. Another couple of jabs there by Galloway. Milton comes forward, one, two, straight combination. Oh, big body work there by Milton. That's the end of the fourth. Again, it's another Milton round. But guys, make no mistake. Galloway is in this fight. We're seeing David in Avenision, the Russian fellow, in his locker room, just listening to some music at the moment, just prepping himself for the for the fight. His last fight out was in March uh, March nineteenth, twenty twenty two, which is a TKO victory for David Avenision. Look, I think David Avenision, what he is going to bring, he's going to be game. He's going to be up for a fight. He's not going to hide. Um, but one thing I do worry is about the angles that Terence Crawford can create in a fight. I think Avenician's going to come up against angles he's never seen before. Um, and the reason that's so difficult to work with, because you can get with, hit with punches that you don't even see. Not because they're powerful, not because they're fast, because they're coming from somewhere that's out of your peripheral vision. And that's what Terence Crawford does very, very well indeed as we enter the next round in this one. 15 minutes away before the Pacquiao versus DKU card begins. The main card, anyway. After this fight, I will just take a quick uh, toilet break, guys. We're in the fifth round of six. We'll take a quick toilet break if that is okay. Hopefully, you guys do not mind. Double jab by Milton. One, two, straight by Galloway to the midsection of Milton. Double jab from Galloway again. Yeah, by the way, the commentator for BLK Prime, that's the uh, pay-per-view place that's doing this fight. They have got the scorecard the same as me, which is Milton by four rounds to nothing. Good straight right hand there by Galloway, though, and it's an even round so far. But what we've noticed so far in this fight, that it appears that Milton kind of grows into the rounds and starts to dominate in the latter stages, and that's mainly because Galloway's gas tank Starts to run out in the latter stages of the rounds. Good straight right hand there from Galloway, though. And Milton pieces him up with a 1-2 combination. Milton gets that guard up high. Making sure that he's not going to get tagged by one of those big overhand rights from Galloway. And he throws an overhand of his own that lands clean on the temple of Galloway. Exactly. This is what we see, guys. <laughs> Galloway just slows down and then Milton loads up in the later rounds. It's what we keep seeing. It's what we keep seeing. I'm just going to have to refresh my stream there. I am buzzing for Manny Pacquiao. I mean, the one thing that I always regret is that we never got to see Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao when they were both truly at their prime, you know, you know in their late mid to late 20s. It's a real shame we never got to see that fight when we should have seen that fight. Good one, two straight there from Milton as Galloway gets on that left hook. What do you guys think? If they fought each other in their prime, if Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fought each other in their prime, who would have won that fight? Who would have won that fight? Because... I personally think if Manny Pacquiao in his late 20s come up against Floyd, it's a difficult fight, don't get me wrong, but I think there's every chance he wins it. I think he has every chance. Because that's why I think Floyd was, was kind of, I'm not going to say ducking, stalling, stalling. Floyd Mayweather always wanted to fight Pacquiao. That's a big overhand right from Milton there, but gets tagged with a left hook, right hook. Oh, and Galloway's got a problem here. I think there might have been a low blow. I think the referee scored it as a knockdown, though, maybe. I'm not too sure about that one. That was a bit of a strange moment there. Oh, and suddenly Milton's throwing hands. And that's the end of the fifth round as we enter the sixth and final round in this bout. That was it weird there from Galloway. I don't think it was a low blow. I think he just got hit with a body shot. And he took a sort of hypothetical knee there, I guess. 
as we enter the sixth and final round. I mean, look, Galloway needs a knockout right now, or Milton's going to take this one, but Milton will want a knockout of his own, but he might just say, do you know what? I've got away, I've, I've got away scot-free in this fight so far. Let, let's, ju let's just take it to the full rounds and, and get the win, which he should do, which he should do. Coverage of Pacquiao U card starts in a round about 10 minutes. The Manny Pacquiao fight won't be first on, of course, but, but we will have some fights for you guys on that card. Here we go. Sixth and final round. The clacker goes, and here we go. Let's have it. Let's have you, lads. Let's see if we get a knockout here. I was fully expecting a knockout here. So I'm very surprised that we haven't got one. But, you know, that, that's what happens. That's what happens in boxing. That's what happens in boxing. Oh, big right hand from Galloway. Milton does need to be careful. I think he needs to play it safe right now, to be honest with you. With one, two straight and some uppercuts there from Galloway. He's going to go hell for leather right now as Milton gets on that one, two straight as well. Stiff jab there from Galloway. Milton showing a bit of respect, stepping backwards. Double jab from Milton. Galloway gets back on his jab. Herman Manlutach says, uh, DK, uh, no chance to win. I agree with you, Herman. I agree with you. No chance at all, Herman. Good to have you in, man. Hope you're having a good day. Floyd wasn't in his prime, yet Pac was in his prime. Once Floyd was, Pac was in... Floyd wasn't in his prime yet when Pac... I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying, to be fair. There was a little bit of a sort of time lag between both of their primes. But personally, I think it would have been a more fair reflection of their skill level if they th fought in either their early... Let's say early 30s. Straight right hand there from Galloway. Double jab from Galloway. Galloway's mouth is just open. He's breathing. And there's a minute and 15 minutes to go. Galloway's hurt and Milton's not going for the kill because he's respecting and conscious of the power coming off the gloves. And that's a good left hand there by Milton. Left hook by Milton. Jab by Milton. Galloway not throwing right now. Galloway, Galloway does throw straight one too. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Tim. Don't worry, mate. Another one-two by Milton. And there's no defense from Galloway. All of these punches from Milton are landing straight on the dome. But he's got a lot of weight behind him. And he's got a fantastic chin, has Galloway. Hence why he's been able to sort of... I'm not going to call it an onslaught. But take some of these big power punches. Or oh, a big one-two by... Galloway there, then Milton goes to the body to respond. Galloway goes with that straight right hand. Here we go. Jab by Galloway. It's slowing down a bit. I think Milton's happy to take it to the scorecards. Let's see. Oh, little short jab there by Galloway. Double jab by Milton, and that is the end of the fight. Both men touch gloves at the end. We go to the judges' scorecards. And this big heavyweight clash between Milton and Galloway. I'm going to have Milton winning it. He takes the final round as well. Actually, you know what? I think that final round, I will give that to Galloway. Actually, I, th I thought he did a good job in that final round. We will give the final round to Galloway. I'll call him Gal on the scorecard. But we should have a UD here for uh, Mr. Milton. Make no mistake, he, he, he won the rounds. He outpunched him. He outscored him. And if the referees have it going, any the judges have it going any other way, it will be a complete robbery. Milton takes it for me. We'll stick around for the judges' scorecards. Then what I'm going to do is take a quick toilet break. I'll play some music for you guys uh, because seven minutes to go before the Manny Pacquiao Street uh, coverage starts. I think Pac wins in his late 20s, early 30s. I think so too, Tim. I think so too, Tim. I think Floyd, even in that fight, Pacquiao did cause him some problems. I mean, there was there was a lot of people that said that Pacquiao beat Floyd Mayweather in that fight. I'm definitely not in that camp. I thought Floyd convincingly won, really. 
from a boxing perspective. For sure, Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor through most of the rounds. He was definitely the one that wanted to fight more. But for me, Floyd just boxed his head off a little bit. Boxed his head off a little bit. As we end this one between Milton and Galloway, we'll have the next fight coming up in just a moment. By the way, guys, we're watching two cards at the same time. And in six minutes' time, we will have the coverage starting for Pacquiao versus DKU. Does DK stand for anything? Here we go. Judges scorecards in this one. Let's listen in. Oh, no. The, stream, the stream's gone down. The stream's gone down while they're reading out the bloody scorecards. Come on, lads. Why you got to do this to me? Why you got to do me dirty like this? Why you got to do me dirty like this? Hopefully, we'll get that back up in just a moment. Don't worry, guys. That that won't happen for the Manny Pacquiao one because uh, I've got the official Fight TV one. So the coverage for that will be completely smooth. Uh, it's just for this Crawford one. I, I, it's all completely legal the way I'm watching it, paid for. Uh, but my stream's just a little bit slow. Just a little bit slow. Let's listen in. I still don't think we've had the announcement. So you don't think we've had the announcement here. Apologies for this, guys. And Milton does take it. Milton does take it. Jeremiah Milton takes it via decision. Full respect to him. Okay, I can finally go for my toilet break. Be right back, guys. When I am back in around about four minutes' time, it will be the Pacquiao card. Be right back.
Yes, people, we are back and welcome to the coverage for the card between Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and DKU. This is going to be a really, really fun card today. There's lots of fun fights. Even Castillo's getting back in the ring here today. But welcome to the channel. This is the Liquidator where we talk about boxing as it is happening. How are you guys doing today? We are... We are watching live in South Korea. I'm not in South Korea. I'm in Singapore. But let me know, guys, where you are watching from today. I would love to know. Are you watching from Philippines? Cheering on your man Pacquiao to let you guys know. Pacquiao's my hero. He's my favorite fighter of all time. So I'm absolutely buzzing that he's back in the ring today. Let me know in the live chat who is going to win. Hashtag Pacquiao or hashtag DKU. Who have you got? Who have you got? Let me know in the live chat right now. What time is the fight? It should be in about two hours time, something like that. Two hours time, three hours time. I think it'll be two hours time. We've got Antonio Mora saying Pacquiao Parin a KO. I, I'm not sure what that means, but I think it might mean he's going to knock him the heck out. I think it might mean that he thinks Pacquiao's going to knock DKU the heck out. If you are just joining us, guys, get yourselves in the live chat. And also, I would like to ask if you could please smash that like button. We are seven likes away. Se oh, seven likes away from 50. If we can get there before we even see a fight on this card, that would be great. Um, and also, subscribe to the channel because, guys, we are now 27, 26 subscribers away from 5,000. If we can get to 5,000 today, you might just see me cry live on stream. And how good would that be? Watching my hero Manny Pacquiao whilst hitting 5,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. If you guys want to help me out, then please do hit that button. Like the video if you are new. Share it with your friends. We are going to have fun today. If you don't know how this works, how this channel works, basically to the right-hand side of me over this way, you will see the scorecard. So I will score each of the fights. And then above me, you will see the round number here and the time of the round. It will count down from three to whatever minutes it is in the fight. And then below me, I will put what fight on the card we are watching. And speaking of the card, let's talk about the card. We'll go through it in just a minute. But the first fight is coming up in just a moment. The first one coming up is Marcel Davidson versus Yoon Bin Han. So Davidson versus Yoon Bin Han is the first fight coming up. That is the first fight coming up. So Davidson versus Yoon Bin Han. Actually, it might not be the first. Uh, Davidson versus Yoon Bin Han. That is the first one today. Got Marcus Davidson later on against Moon Wick Kim. We've got Nico Hernandez versus Jay Young Kim. We've got Manny Pacquiao versus DKU. And we've got a special co-main event between Renelio, Renelio Quizo and Yong Hun Shin. Decidu says Pacquiao versus Bruce Lee. Pacquiao takes it, mate. Pacquiao takes it. That's what we're talking about, mate. Pacquiao takes it. Guys, let me know what country are you watching from? What time is Pacquiao's fight? We've got a while to go, my friend. We've got a while to go. I think we're talking about at least two hours before Pacquiao's fight. Pacquiao win round one by a TKO. Wow, Brian. Let's see what happens, my dude. We've got Ams Karelis coming in saying number one, baby. Pacquiao is the number one. What do you guys think? Do you think Pacquiao just goes in and takes him out in one round? Or do you think he'll play around with DKU a bit, put on a show? And also, guys, do you want to see Pacquiao return to professional boxing? Would you like to see Pacquiao go back into professional boxing? Maybe fight Terence Crawford, who we have on in the background as well. How incredible would that be if he made a big comeback in the professional game? Look, he only fought, hey, Angus, good to have you in, man. I hope you're doing well. How good would it be if we saw him against someone like Errol Spence Jr. or Terence Crawford in 2023? I mean, I'm here for it. By the way, in the poll, 93% of people going for Mr. Manny Pacquiao. Only 7% going for DKU. Got the first fight coming up in just a moment. What is this announcer doing? 
This announcer is terrible. Did anyone hear that? Is anyone watching along with me? That was terrible. You should get me in there doing the announcement. This is awful. Just seeing the first fight coming up. We're going to have the ring walks for the first fight. Let's see what happens. Got a South Korean entering the ring. Here comes Han Yoon Bin making his ring walk. He's wearing a baggy orange t-shirt and red shorts. He's got the classic red gloves on. Here is Yoon Bin Han, 25 years old from South Korea. He fights in the orthodox stance. Let's see how he gets on today. Yoon Bin Han entering the fray. Let's go. Let's go. Three likes away from 50. Guys, smash that like button now. Guys, have you guys been watching the World Cup as well? What did you make of England's loss to France? Let me know, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We have boxing. Yun Bin Han entering the ring. And then Davidson's going to take his ring walk after that. I don't know how many rounds this is. I'll let you know once they tell us. Let's turn the air conditioning on. Guys, which city are you living in? Are you from the Philippines? Are you from the USA? Are you from South Korea? Where are you from? Let me know in the live chat right now. We've got the next ring walk here. Two-time ringside world championship winner. Winning the Golden Gloves tournament in 2019. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Here we go. Here is Marcel Davidson. 21 years old. Fights in Southport from the US of A. He has a record of 3 and 0. Oh. Marcel Davidson making his ring walk to fight Yun Bin Han. Here we go. Lass in here, baby. Faye Five, Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Sonny Liston, Big George, and Roy Jones. Yeah, Sonny Liston, Big George, and Roy Jones. They're up there for me, man. But I'm a... This is me, yeah? I'm a big Mike Tyson fan. Big, bad Iron Mike, baby. He's my top, man. I don't think there will ever be anyone like Iron Mike again. Go, Manny Pacquiao, says John Raul Pahid. Love it, mate. I was rooting for England. We are going to have the Battle of the French Republic. I know, mate. It'll be very interesting. And I will be rooting for Morocco in that one. Don't get me wrong. As Marcel Davidson makes his ring walk. Here we go. This is big. This is big. Guys, we're now 26 subscribers away from 5,000. There's over 150 of you in here. If all of you subscribe to the channel right now, we would hit our goal. Marcel Davidson has entered the ring by the way. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Southpaw uh, of Davidson, Orthodox of Yun Bin Han. It's going to be interesting to see the difference in styles here. Marcel Davidson has the, has the youth on his side almost at 21 years old. Um, and Yun Bin Han does have a loss on his record as well. A bit of lightning there in Singapore. We love it. St. Louis, Missouri, US of A. Love it, my friend. Thank you, as always, Angus, for coming in, showing support on the channel. You're an absolute legend, man. You know that. I don't need to say that, but I do still say it. Here we go. Davidson versus Yu Bin Han. If you can hear some thunder, there is thunder going on in the background. Let's go. Let's see what happens in this first fight. They still haven't told us how many rounds it's going to be. By the way, in the other card, it's Kegai. He's fighting right now. They stare each other down. I mean, Marcel Davidson is in hell of a sh good shape here. He looks in incredible physical form. Here we go. Davidson versus Yun Bin Han. Can Bin Han take out Davidson? Or will Davidson do the business here today? Seconds out. Here we go. Round one, baby. It might not even be a three-minute round, three round. Let's see, though. Double jab there off the southpaw stance of Davidson. This is a four-round bout, by the way. So we're going to fly through this card, man. We're going to have lots of fights that are four rounds, five rounds, six rounds. Oh, off balance there by Yun Bin Han. He falls into the ropes. That's a sharp left hand straight down the dome by Marcel Davidson that pushes Yun Bin Han back. And Marcel Davidson again with that straight left. And 
I don't think you and Bin Han last long here. Davidson goes to the body. Bin Han trying to throw a straight right hand. Yeah, Marcel Davidson looks a level above here. A swing and a miss off the left hand there from Yun Bin Han. As Marcel Davidson gets on that jab. Davidson doesn't have a lot of bulk, but he's a very rangy, skinny fighter. Straight left hand again. And he's winning this round comfortably so far. Absolutely comfortably indeed. Mike's lucky he didn't have to fight George. We would have never heard of Buster. That, yeah, I mean, I agree, man. Big George could hit harder than most. It, Big George is arguably the hardest hitting of all time, actually. Is it, I think it's hit between him and Mike. Oh, big right hand there by Yung Bin Han now. He is coming back into this one a little bit here. Straight right hand there by Marcel Davidson. Oh, good counter punch there by Davidson. As again, a swing from the outside by Bin Han. We have hit 50 likes. Thank you guys so, so much. Absolute legends. Bin Han must be at least four or five inches smaller than his opponent here. Another jab there by Davidson. Oh, big left hand there by Davidson. But he needs to be wary of that bin hand counter. He's definitely able to counter. Oh, big right hand there by Yung Bin Han. And Marcel Davidson has to hold on a little bit here. Davidson needs to be careful. You cannot drop your hands in the middle of a fight. You cannot get too confident. Oh, good shot to the body there by Yung Bin Han. Needs to be careful the counter from Davidson now, though. It's George, says Evander. Yep. Yeah. Oh, big right hand, and then a left, and he's on the canvas. I think that was a slip, though. Yeah, it was a slip. It's been an exciting first round, let me tell you that for nothing. It's been an exciting first round. Yun Bin Han, he's, he, he has got a puncher's chance, let me tell you that. But at the moment, Davidson is dominating this round. Good one-two straight there from Bin Han as he comes onto the inside, and he's on the floor again with a slip. Just... Keep your balance, mate. What are you doing? Twice now, he's fallen to the ground. Another sharp right hand there by Davidson. Yun Bin Han, straight right hand to the body. Davidson. Oh, a big left hook by Davidson and Bin Han's on the canvas. First knockdown of the fight on the bell as well. That should be the end of the round, surely. I think it will be after the count. And that is the bell. That is the end of the first round. It's a big knockdown at the end of the first by Davidson. And we'll have Marcel Davidson. We'll call him MD. He is taking the first round. Interesting fight. I mean, you've got the more laboured sort of... <laughs> I, I want to call it swinging for the hills style of Yun Bin Han versus the accurate, precise, straight down the dome from Marcel Davidson. But... Yun Bin Han's still got a chance. Don't write him off just yet. Tyson had problems with big guys. Bone Crusher Smith would be a good example. He fought a prime Tyson. True, but I'm not saying he's the best, but I just love Mike Tyson the most. That's just how it goes with me. Here we go. Matthew says, Hey Liam, good to see you're okay after the England defeat. Yeah, I mean, if I said I was okay, I'd be lying, mate. Uh, I'm very mentally distressed right now, but... We keep moving forward at the end of the day. We keep moving forward as we enter the second round here. That's a sharp right hook there by Davidson. Thanks for coming in though, Matthew. Appreciate it, man. Oh, good left hook and a right hook there from Davidson. And he's piecing up Yun Bin Han. Yun Bin Han with a sharp right hand though. And this is an all-out slugfest. And then they both rugby tackle each other to the floor. Oh. 18 subscribers away from 5,000. We're going to hit it, guys. We're going to hit it. Come on. Oh, one, two straight there from Yun Bin Han and Davidson lands a sharp right hand uppercut. What a fight this has been so far, guys. It's been really, really good. I've enjoyed it, man. Davidson with the double jab. He's got a good chin, though, Davidson. He's taken some big shots from Yun Bin Han. And he hasn't seemed troubled so far. Less than two minutes to go in this round. Oh, a big left hand by Yun Bin Han. And Marcel Davidson shaken but not stirred. No worries, mate. Good to have you in, buddy. Did you watch it? Oh, a big left hand by Davidson now. This is a war. What a start to this card. 
One, two straight by Davidson. He steps backwards. He's wary of that sort of sneaky power from Yun Bin Han as Yun Bin Han again slips to the canvas. He just needs to keep his balance. Big overhand left from Yun Bin Han as they tie up in the clinch. Man, I have COVID, says Steven, but I think Pacquiao will win well. Get well soon, buddy. I think he'll win as well, but we will see, my dude. We will see. We will see. <laughs> I haven't been complaining. Come on, Tim. <laughs> Jab from Davidson. Sweeping overhand right from Yun Bin Han that misses. Sharp one, two, and then a left hook, right hook combination from Davidson. He's definitely a combination builder as compared to his opponent, Yun Bin Han. Yun Bin Han is a swinger. He's a Deontay Wilder swinger. Big right hand there. Right hook from Davidson. It was a counter right from Yun Bin Han though in amongst all of that. As they end, go back to the center of the ring. We did get a knockdown in the first round from Davidson. Do not forget that. Davidson's shorts seem to be falling down a little bit here. Yun Bin Han, they're getting on that jab again. Double jab from Davidson. Yun Bin Han might try a haymaker here. He does. And that's a stiff straight right hand that lands on the dome. And that is the end of the second. Yeah, Yun Bin Han really struggling to get on the inside right now. I mean, it's a significant height and reach disadvantage for him. Marcel Davidson just jabbing his head off and throwing straight one-twos. And it's really working out for him. I mean, Yun Bin Han's had some success from the outside throwing haymakers, but... Needs to figure out a way to get on the inside. Maybe use his footwork. Maybe use a head movement to get in there. Let's see. Guys, if you are just joining us, it really helped me out. If you could like the video right now. Like the video right now. And we have hit 50 likes, by the way. And I thank you all so, so much for that. But we can get to 100. There's 100 people in. So why the hell well, can't we get to 100? Let's do it right now. Here we go as the third round Gets going busy in here tonight. Liquid says, not bad, mate, not bad. It always pops off when there's a Filipino fighter involved. That's what I know, mate. That's what I know. Good to have you in, Adam. How are you doing, bro? Did you watch the England game? How did you find the England match? Here we go, third round in this four-round bout. Yeah, they're pulling up Marcel Davidson's shorts. I mentioned that in the last round, and the referee pulled his shorts up for him there. Big overhand right there by Yun Bin Han. And Yun Bin Han starts to throw combinations. That's a big overhand. And he puts him down with a straight right. Yun Bin Han is the man. A knockdown for Yun Bin Han here. What a fight this is. Wow. Wow. It's 1-1 one, one in terms of knockdowns. And what a moment that was for Yun Bin Han. And Yun Bin Han goes for the haymaker again. And Marcel Davidson all of a sudden looks timid. He looks scared. It's another overhand right from Bin Han. Good jab there from Davidson. He just needs to compose himself here. Get your head moving as well. Davidson throws a straight left. He just seems to be a bit stiff now, Davidson. Not moving around as much. Lovely sneaky uppercut from Davidson there. It's an incredible fight so far. One of the best I've seen all year in terms of drama. Good straight right to the body by Bin Han. Stiff left by Marcel Davidson. We've got a long time to go in this round. It was an early knockdown in terms of time gone in round three. Bin Han comes forward with that right hand and he's fully game. Oh, good hands here from Marcel Davidson with the right hook. Davidson trying to push him back to the ropes with that jab. Bin Han having nothing of it though, and he just keeps swinging, baby. Straight left hand by Davidson. Stiff jab by Davidson. Minute to go in the round, and Bin Han is winning it so far, unless Marcel Davidson can find a knockout here. Who do you think is going to win this fight? There's been so much drama so far. And he's down again. He does find the knockout. Marcel Davidson this time with a left hand that puts Bin Han to the canvas. Incredible shot there by Marcel Davidson. We've had three knockdowns in three rounds. 40 seconds to go. 
Good right hand by Bin Han, and Bin Han lands a haymaker again. Oh, but it's Marcel Davidson. Left hand, right hand. He's on the canvas again. No knockdown, though. It's another slip. It's another slip. It's a slip. Wow. Samantha Thomas says, yes, Stephen is my brother. He has COVID. And yeah, we'll get soon. Stephen and Samantha, thanks for coming in. Hopefully your bro, Stephen, will be okay. What a third round that was. I'm going to edge it slightly. I, I, do you know what? I think he will have home advantage on his side. We will give it to Bin Han. We will give it to Bin Han the third round. I think they'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We had two knockdowns in that round, and I think Bin Han did really, really well. What a fight. Three knockdowns already. Two for Marcel Davidson, one for Yun Bin Han. And as we enter the fourth round, it was all to play for because you feel like anyone can go down at any time. These are two guys that are here for war, and I am here for it. I am here for it, my good people. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the commentary as well as we enter the fourth and final round in this bout. Let's go. I love it, man. I love boxing. This is what we're here for. By the way, UFC 282 is going on at the moment as well. My mind is like satellite TV, very delayed. Just teasing, says, to, oh, yeah, I saw the Jeffrey joke. Wait. They've stopped the fight. They've stopped the fight. Marcel Davidson's won the fight. They've stopped it. They put an end to this contest. I guess Yun Bin Han could not continue. That is a third round TKO by Marcel Davidson. That's a shame we didn't get the final round. But look, clearly Yun Bin Han did not have enough to get in there for the fourth round. And we're hearing from Marcel Davidson here. They said, what does it feel like being on the Manny Pacquiao card? Davidson says, I can't wait for Manny Pacquiao's fight. He sounds a little bit like this. Robert James says, Talo Nasi Pac-Man. Yeah, that's weird, says Matthew. I mean, maybe the referee waved it off and I missed it. I, I don't think I did, though. I think, I think they just ended the bout in between the rounds. Marshall Davis is it. I'm looking to accomplish big things. This is the first step. It's the first step to a world championship. Steven says, John Jones is coming back at heavyweight. Do you think he's going to go after Francis? I mean, if he does come back at heavyweight, that's the man to go for, right? That's the man to go for. I mean, you've either got to go for Miocic, Miocic or, or, or uh, Francis Ngannou. Why not, man? John Jones is one of the goats in UFC, man. One of the most skillful heavyweights in UFC ever, if not the, uh, in light heavyweight, if not the best ever. Let's see though, man. Francis Ngannou is a bad, bad man. Honestly, I think Ngannou would take that. I think it's just too different. By the way, in the ring, we've got Morris Lee versus Shin Yong Kim. Okay. Lee versus Shin Yong Kim coming up next. Versus Shin Yong Kim. We, we're going at pace here, guys. We're going at pace. We've already got the next round, the next fight coming up. They're already in the ring. They were waiting. They were waiting. This is a six-round bout. Here we go. Oh, no, they're not in the ring. They're making their ring walks now. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> they're making their ring walks now. If he never had the steroid issue, he would have been on the UFC Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I agree, man. Here we go. Entering and making his ring walk is Shin Yong Kim. Here we go. If you're just joining us, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you are indeed new around here. And also, guess what, guys? How far away are we? 16 away. 16 subscribers for 5,000. Wow. I think we might make it there. I don't want to hold my breath, but I think we might make it there. Shin Yong Kim makes his way into the ring. By the way, when Terence Bud Crawford comes on, we will switch to that fight. We will switch to that fight. Can we call him SYK? I'm not sure what you mean there, mate. I'm not sure what you mean there. Oh, Shin Yong Kim. Yeah, sure. Why not, mate? I'm going to call him Yong Kim, though. Here we go, Morris Lee making his ring walk here. He's from the US of A. He has a record of 13 wins, one loss, and two draws. Did I miss the Sean Garcia fight? 
Which card is that on? Because we're watching two cards. We're watching two cards at the moment. Let me just check for you if it's on the Manny Pacquiao one. Sean Garcia, I think... Yeah, I don't think they've done that one yet. Not on the main card anyway. Only if they did it on the prelims would, would we have missed that one. Shin Yong Kim. Luckily, mate, I live in, I live in Asia, so I, I'm used to saying uh, Asian sort of style names. As Morris Lee makes his way into the ring, we've got USA versus South Korea in this fight. Morris Lee comes in a little bit like this and a little bit like that. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Boxing, we love you. But th this is a good antidote for England losing. I've said it again. Yes, the liquidator won't shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. Morris Lee, six wins, zero losses. Two coming by way of knockout. He's 30 years old, fighting in Southpaw. Weighing in at 68 kilos. He's about the same weight as me, but let me tell you, he has a lot less body fat than me. <laughs> Looking in good shape, both of these fighters. The referee is Shan Su Kim. Here we go. Abs for days. Six rounds or less. Now, nah, man, let it out. It's therapeutic. Exactly, mate. Here we go. Let's go, baby. First round. Got the southpaw stance of Morris Lee and the orthodox of Shin Yong Kim. Will we get another finish in what's been an exciting card so far? Oh, big right and then a left by Morris Lee. He's got him on the ropes. I thought he was going to take Shin Yong Kim out straight away there. Jab by Morris Lee. Just settles himself down a bit. He doesn't want to open himself up to a big counter. Oh, good straight one-two down the dome there from Morris Lee. I think Morris Lee's going to win this one. Oh, Shin Yong Kim drops his hands and goads Morris Lee there. I love the showmanship. Why not? Why not? Why the heck not? We love it. Oh, good shots there by Morris Lee again. Shin Yong Kim tries to get himself on the inside here. Oh, big left down by Morris Lee. And Shin Yong Kim's on the canvas in the first minute of this round. A huge left hand by Lee. Shin Yong Kim looks hurt. Will he continue? He will. Oh, big left hand again by Morris Lee. And then a straight left. Shin Yong Kim's pretty much out on his feet here. One, two. Shin Yong Kim lands a left hand though. Shin Yong Kim lands a right. And Morris Lee has to step back. But Morris Lee lands a stiff left hand through the middle. Combinations by Morris Lee on the ropes. Shin Yong Kim looks hurt. It's another left. The referee's taking a very, very close look at this one. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. What a start to this card. What a start to this fight. Can Morris Lee take him out in the first round? Just over a minute to go. Just over a minute to go. Another, oh, that straight left off the southpaw stance is phenomenal from Morris Lee. Phenomenal. Oh, overhand left from Morris Lee. And then a straight left again. And Shin Yong Kim needs to get his guard up. He needs to get his guard up. He's not protecting himself. Protect yourself at all times. As Morris Lee cuts off the ring well, but Shin Yong Kim does a good job at maneuvering himself out of the corner. Shin Yong Kim goes to the body. I feel we probably won't get the first round finish here from Morris Lee. One, two, straight. Good left hand counter there by Shin Yong Kim. And then a right hand by Shin Yong Kim. He's growing into this round a bit. He slips there. I'm seeing a lot of slips from these South Korean guys right now. Not sure why. Morris again with that straight left. Gets him on the ropes. Good right hand counter there by Shin Yong Kim to get himself back to the center of the ring. That is the end of the first round. End of the first round. I mean, we've had a knockdown. It's got to go to Lee. A very good first round from him. Uh, phenomenal stuff, really. Lee needs to hold that ring control and lead with that jab. I mean, yeah, I, I think he's doing that well. Just needs to be careful of the counter. But 
He's clearly the more powerful man in the ring right now. Wilder versus Joshua would be good. I think Joshua would be beat by a round or two. I think Wilder would take him out. I think Wilder would knock him out, mate. So the first round goes to Lee. As we enter the second in this sixth round bout, Wilder will whoop Joshua. I agree with that, mate. I, I agree. I agree with you. Here we go, second round. What a fight this has been so far. And we're loving this one. Just checking the other stream. The whistle goes with seconds out. Who do you guys think wins out of AJ? No, sorry. Usyk and Fury. Who do you think wins that fight? Here we go in the second round. Will Morris Lee get the finish? Or will that man, Shin Yong Kim, grow into this fight a little bit more? He showed some signs at the end of the first. He's definitely not out of this one. Let's see. Shin Yong Kim steps forward. Good straight left again from Morrissey. It's a dangerous shot. And I feel Shin Yong Kim just needs to lean back a bit off that left hand of off that left hand of Morrissey. Morrissey overhand left. Morrissey just slowed things down a little bit. Needs to be careful not to punch himself out. Although it is only six rounds, so he's definitely got a little bit of extra credit in terms of his gas tank, given he's not going eight, ten, or twelve. Passive start to this round. Couple of jabs by. Lee. Oh, Kim. It was a slip. I thought Kim might put down Morris Lee there, but it was a slip by. They're all slipping now. They're all slipping. Oh, big hands thrown by Shin Yong Kim there. And Morris Lee comes back with a one-two straight combination. Overreaching off the overhand right there from Shin Yong Kim. And that's, that's the key. When Shin Yong Kim overreaches from the outside... Morris needs to land that counter left. Because that can take out Kim. Oh, stiff jab by Lee. Kim respects that stiff jab and steps backwards. Sorry, passive moments in this round and a right hook there from Lee. A double jab from Lee. Shin Yong Kim not really throwing right now. He puts his hands down again. Tries to bait Lee in because Kim wants that counter. Make no mistake, Kim wants that counter punch. But Lee happy to just dance around a little bit right now. He knows he's winning the fight at the moment. Good one-two there from Kim though. And Lee landed a counter in amongst all of that. He did land a counter in amongst all of that. Do, 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 do. Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao. Kim steps forward again. Lee with that jab. Lee with a sweeping uppercut that... Oh, and Kim there opens his mouth. That hurt him. That hurt him. You can always see when a fighter gets hurt with a shot because they go... They start to just open their mouth a little bit. Breathe a little bit heavier. Step their foot off the gas a little bit. Kim tries to cut off the ring here. Lee jabs himself out of trouble. Good work from him. Smart boxing IQ there from Lee. Lee with a couple of jabs as we enter the latter stages of this round. And Lee pushes him back with a left hand. And that is the end of the second. I'm going to edge it towards Lee. It was a close round, but Lee definitely dominating with that jab. The jab is vicious and the straight... Uh, the straight left hand even more so. But don't get it wrong. Shin Yong Kim landed a few good shots in that round. Let's see what happens in the third. I just think Lee just needs to continue what he's doing right here. And Shin Yong Kim, similar to the last fight, needs to try and get himself on the inside a little bit more. Because more often than not, he's throwing and, and, and overreaching from the outside. And then that's given Lee the opportunity to land that straight left hand. Needs to be careful for me. As we enter the third round. How is everyone doing today? Where are you watching from? Steven Sprouse says Fury. I agree. Fury needs to be better than what he was last week. Otherwise, he'll get caught. Yeah, but I think that's a given, Matthew, right? He will be better. He will be better if he fights Usyk. Um, I think against Chisori, he, he slowed down the pace massively in those last few rounds. And it didn't take a lot of effort for Fury to take Chisora out of there. Not the best preparation for an undisputed Unified heavyweight championship fight, but you know, we'll see. He might even get another one in before Usyk. Here we go in the third round, though. 
Jabs at the start of the round from both fighters. A straight right hand there from Shin Yong Kim. Oh, big right hand by Kim. Lands right on the temple. And that's definitely hurt Lee a bit, but to his credit, he absorbs it well, does Lee? Tim Hall says Fury probably by KO. I think so as well. I think Fury's far too big for Usyk. Six inch height advantage. The reach advantage, I'm not sure, but I, I imagine it will at least be eight inches, six to eight inches, maybe more. But look, Usyk's still a big guy. He's six foot three. Usyk is the same size as Muhammad Ali. So don't get it twisted. He's not a small guy. He's not a small guy. Not a small guy by any means. Steven Strauss, I can't believe that my brother said Tank would beat Manny Pacquiao in his prime. Uh, I said, heck no, Manny would beat... I mean, that's a silly opinion. That's an absolutely ludicrous opinion. <laughs> Pacquiao would absolutely destroy Tank Davis. Maybe a 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao might get beaten by him, but no. Just no. Oh, a good one-two straight there by Morris Lee and then a jab from him. I mean, look, as well, by the way... Pacquiao, a lot of the time, fights at welter. And Garcia is a very small guy. Wilder's KO's AJ, in my opinion, I agree as well. We all just agree in this chat. We, we're all just, yeah, you're, you're good, you're good. A couple of right hooks there from Lee. This fight's just slowed down a bit. Stiff left hand, though, and that hurt Kim. Kim, with, oh, he gets hit with the right hand this time. And Kim saying, come on then, but I wouldn't be saying that, mate, because you're getting hit. Stiff jab by Lee. Kim trying to bait him in, playing possum at the moment. He's saying, come on. He's literally doing that to Lee. As Kim throws a jab. I'm loving this vibe, though. Two fighters just going for it here. Just going for it. Oh, big right hand there by Kim. And Lee landed a right hand as well. And now they start slugging it out. They start slugging it out. Kim puts his hands down again. Playing possum, trying to bait him in. Lee's ta not taking the bait though. Louis Ochea says, Talo, see Pac-Man. Good to have you in, Louis. I have to hear good night. Oh, good night, my friend. Thanks for coming in, Matthew. That's the end of the third round. I mean, maybe Kim won that round. I'm going to give it to Kim. I'm going to give it to Kim. Even round. Benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, goes to the home turf. I mean, they both landed some bombs. I mean, Lee actually, maybe Lee won that round, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Thanks, Matthew. Appreciate that, man. On that note, let's have a look because subscribers-wise, we are 12 away. 12 away from 5,000. My word. We might just get there tonight. What do, you got? what do you guys reckon? Will we get there? We might just get there tonight. Fourth round coming up in this sixth round bout. I don't, I don't think we'll get a finish now. I, I feel both of them are just slowed down a bit, but you never know with these guys. They're always game as we enter the fourth of six rounds. Bell goes. I mean, I feel like in these type of fights, you say this, you go, oh, they're slowing down. And then all of a sudden, Lee or Kim could just throw... An incredible shot out of nowhere. Knock their opponent out. Swing and a miss there from Kim. Good counter right hand from Lee. Sorry, there was an ant on my knee there. Just shat myself. There was an ant on my knee. Double jab by Lee. One, two straight by Lee. Really good work from him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Jab from Morris Lee. Oh, big shot there from Kim on the inside. And Lee took it well, though. Two minutes to go in round four. Will we see someone start to take over? It's there for the taking at the moment. The first minute's been very tight, very passive. It's Kim threw a jab there. And oh, good right hook, left hook combination by Lee. But they're almost slapped. He's not putting his full weight behind it. That's a good straight left to the body. And then a jab from Lee. And he's starting to show that craftsmanship we saw in the first and second rounds.
Good jab there by Kim. Lee's dropped his hands now. And now Lee's smiling. Lee's walking around the wing, ring like he's going to the shops to get some milk. And he throws a good one-two there. But stiff left hand by Kim on the counter. What a fight this is, man. What a fight this is. I'm loving it. What a card this is. Bud Crawford, by the way, is getting closer and closer. Good one-two there by Lee. Kim trying to cut off the ring and get him in the corner, but it's difficult for him without that reach advantage as Morris Lee starts to bounce around a little bit more, get some more life into those legs. Oh, and Kim stuck his tongue out. I'm loving this gamesmanship here. Bit of showboating, bit of bragging and boasting, and it makes for a good watch. Straight right hand by Kim. Lee steps backwards again. Lee gets back on that jab. Swing and a miss off the right hook from Morris Lee. Oh, good left hand there by Kim. And Lee just sort of shakes his head there. He felt that one. He definitely felt that one. If you are just joining us, hit that like button now. We're 35 likes away from 100. If you could hit it now, over 150 of you in, we would get there. Really appreciate you guys joining though and hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Clacker goes. Oh, fantastic left hand there. Laser shot. It's a rifle of a left hand there by Lee. And that is the end of the fourth round. I'm going to give it to Lee. So I've got three rounds up to one here. Morris Lee has slowed down a bit. I feel that first round did take it out of him a bit. He was throwing for the hills. Let's see what happens next. Joseph Jano is in saying, my best idol, Pacquiao. Thanks for coming in, Joseph. Me too, man. Me too. I love Manny Pac-Man. He's an absolute legend, a hero. His story, you know, where he's come from in general, Santos City in the Philippines, um, coming from nothing, coming from nothing to be a multiple weight world champion and a hero in boxing, Hall of Famer, you just have to give him your full, full respect. I love Manny Pacquiao. He's really good for the sport of boxing. I hope we see him back in the professional game very, very soon. As we enter the fifth and penultimate round in this bout. Who do you think is going to win the main event, guys? Let me know in the live chat. Manny Pacman Pacquiao or DKU. Here we go. Bell goes. Jab from both fighters at the start of the round. Will Kim start to use that power? He's definitely got power. It's just not quite as accurate as Mr. Morris Lee. Kim cuts off the ring. Did Sean Garcia fight? Lee Boy, I'm not sure. I haven't seen him. So the pay-per-view card, the main card, started at 11 a.m. And Sean Garcia has not fought yet. So I imagine he hasn't, mate. I don't think he has. I don't think he has. We're still waiting on that one, my good friend. Thank you for joining Lee Boy. As Morris Lee, the other Lee uh, involved in this event, gets himself on that jab. This fight's... Oh, he's put him... Oh, it's a slip. It's a slip. Never mind. Kim was on the canvas again. Another slip. I mean, what's wrong with this ring? The canvas just appears to be too slippery right here, right now. Yeah, referee deems it a slip. I thought maybe Lee got a little punch in there, but yeah, Kim slips. We might have Sean Garcia next. I hope we do. Ryan Garcia's brother, of course. Be incredible to see him in action today. Kim cuts off the ring. Not too much action in this round so far. Kim steps in on the inside. Oh, a couple of sharp left hooks on the back of the ear by Morris Lee. Referee saying back of the head. I'm not sure about that. I thought it was, you know, the back of the ear, that sweet spot. Jab from both fighters. Lee is being very passive in this round, and I'm not sure why. That left hand was popping in the first couple rounds, and now he's just not really throwing it. He's not really throwing it. Balgut Dragon, let's translate this comment here. Let's translate this comment. Paquito, guys, won. Bruce Lee fell twice in the second swing and fell asleep before getting up. I don't know why we're talking about Bruce Lee, but here comes Kim. Oh, that's a big right hook there by Lee on the counter as Kim threatened to come forward. Thanks for coming in, though, Bulgut Dragon. 
Thank you, my friend. 35 likes away from 100. 10 subscribers away from 5,000. Wow. Oh, a big left hook there by Kim. A stiff left hook, and Lee takes it well. He's got a good chin. I feel Kim is taking this round, though. I'm not sure I've heard so many slips in back-to-back -back fights. Are they outside? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, mate. Maybe, mate. I'll try and take a look at what arena they're in. Good right hook there by Lee. Kim steps backwards again. Morris Lee, the volume has decreased significantly here. It's decreased significantly. And that is the end of the fifth. Could have gone either way that round. I mean, we'll give it to Lee. I think he did edge the round. And I do feel Kim is going to need a couple of knockdowns or maybe even knockout in order to win this one here. Um, let's see what happens next as we enter the sixth and final round in this undercard fight between Morris Lee and Shin Yong Kim. Guys, though, let me know for the main event who is winning. Manny Pacquiao, hashtag Pacman. Get yourself in the chat. Or is it going to be the South Korean social media and MMA guy, DKU? Hashtag DKU or hashtag Pacman. Get yourself in the live chat now. Final round coming up in just a moment here. I've got a few more fights to go, and I'm excited. I am excited. If you cannot tell, Lee Boy says Pac-Man for the win. I think so too, buddy. And here we go. Final round. Sixth round here. Morris Lee, Shin Yong Kim. They put on a very decent show today. But it would be lovely if we could get a finish in the final round. I'm sure these guys are going to go for it here. Jabbing at the start of the round. we got Desidus saying hashtag Pac-Man. Love that, man. Good to have you in, bro. Oh, big one-two there from Lee. Is this a foxy boxing match? Lots of slips. No, it's not. It is not. I mean, they're not really going for it so far. First 30 seconds have been a bit timid. She gonna keep fire. Oh, that's a big right hand by Lee. He's hurt Kim. Kim goads him on, but Lee gets him on the ropes. Left hook. Right hook there by Kim. And, and Lee nearly had him out on his feet there. He nearly had him out on his feet. Chris Levan, Doyogan says Philippines flags, love it. And Bing Bing Saison, Panalo C. Casamero, good to have you in. Thank you, Bing Bing. Thank you for coming in here today. Oh, straight right hand by Kim. I'm surprised Lee isn't taking this opportunity to really come forward here. He is respecting the power of Kim, but maybe Lee feels he's up on the scorecards and wants to take it the full rounds. Couple of jabs by Lee. Swing and a miss from Kim. Overhand right by Kim. Just misses. And then a counter left by Lee. Lands pretty well. Kim saying that was on the back of the head. I don't think so though. As Kim comes forward again. Minute and 20 seconds to go. If you're Kim right now, you need to go for it here. Ooh, swing and a miss there from Lee. And Kim starts to goad him by doing that. Mocking his opponent. Shin Yong Kim with a straight right hand. He's tried to get in Lee's head. He throws another straight right hand. A swing and a miss from Lee there. Yeah, Lee's eye is very swollen. That's a stiff right hand there from Morris Lee. And Lee's got the more power. He's the more accurate fighter. And he has to win this one for me. Unless Kim can get a knockout here. Are they boxing in a pool full of creamed corn? They might just be. They might just be. Well, I think that'll be a little bit difficult for them. But let, let's see. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Oh, good right hand there from Kim. Very good indeed. Oh, big left hook there from Lee, though. And it's a slugfest in this final round. Kim's got a goal for it here, though. He's down on the scorecards. He's losing this round as well. And in South Korea, will we get another South Korean loss? That's a good left hook from Lee. Lee steps forward again. One, two. Kim holds on. And that is the end of the fight. I've got Lee winning the final round. I mean, maybe the judges will give Kim an extra round. But this should be a shutout or a UD victory. 
for Morris Lee. Very good from him. I mean, I think Kim even knows because he, Kim isn't acting like he's won the fight. And we go to the judges' scorecards. So two 40-plus-year-old southpaws, one who's never had a match in a slippery ring, could make for a tough watch. It very much could. It very much could. We've got Jonah Moreno coming in saying shout out to San Francisco Southern Lady Place. Shout out to their, to San Francisco Southern Lady Place. Jonah, thanks for coming in. We've got Awalid Misad coming in saying go, go, Manny. Thank you for coming in, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new as we enter the scorecard. We're four subscribers away from 5,000, our year end goal. We're so, so close to 5,000. There's 200 of you in here. If you all hit subscribe right now, we'd easily beat that. We would easily beat that. Like the video also, 33 away from 100. This was a good fight between Morris Lee and, and Kim. I enjoyed it. Charlie says, my stepmom is from Taclabon. Love that. Awalid coming in with the Philippines flag. Love it, man. Absolutely love it. Appreciate you guys coming in today. I live in Singapore. Um, I live in Singapore, so I always show love to the fellow South Asian community. Uh, definitely the Philippines. There's some really good people from the Philippines. So shout out to my Filipino brothers and sisters. But a fantastic listen. Thanks, man. No worries, mate. No worries at all. I'll try my best. I think we're not too far away from Crawford versus Avedision, by the way. We're not too far away from that. Here we go for the result. Unanimous decision. Winner. Maurice Lee. Maurice victorious. Lee is victorious today. He takes the unanimous decision victory. Kim and Lee show full respect to each other. Always good to see them embracing each other in the center of the ring after the fight. Um, and, th and that's that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. We've got Lee Bardo coming in saying, "I'm not. I'm not sure what that. I'm not sure what that means actually." We're just speaking to Morris Lee here, and we are one step closer to Pacquiao versus DKU. Guys in the chat, does anybody know who DKU is? Does anybody know who DKU is? Honestly, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I probably should know considering I'm doing a watch along for it, but I do not know who DKU is. What is his story? What is his story? I just don't bloody know. I just don't bloody know. Morris Lee saying he was tougher than I expected. He can take a good shot. They're saying congratulations to Morris as he takes his W. He takes his W. Let's go. Morris Lee says he thinks he broke his ankle in the second round. I mean, he didn't look like he broke his ankle. GG, Morris Lee. Exactly. And we're Ryan Ming. And my name is Lee. So, so far, on the two cards, we've had Davidson uh, beating the first opponent. Can't remember his name, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, let's have a look. Who was the first one? Marcel Davidson defeated Yun Bin Han in the first fight. Morris Lee has defeated Shin Yong Kim in the second fight. And next up, we have got Sean Garcia versus Seong Ho Yan. Sean Garcia is fighting next. Here we go. But also we've got Crawford versus Avenision. So I'm going to put it to you guys. Which fight would you rather me cover? Sean Garcia versus Seung Yo Ho Yang or Crawford versus Avenision if they do if they do clash. Here is Sean Garcia. 22 years age, 173 centimeters in height. He is a southpaw. He's coming up against Seung Ho Yang. Same height. He fights orthodox and he is 20 years old. Six wins, zero losses for Sean Garcia. The brother of Ryan Garcia, of course. Let's go. Here we go. Sean Garcia is going to be fighting here. Let's go. Let's go. We've had two South Korean losses so far. Will we get another one? 
Sean Garcia comes up against his South Korean counterpart. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, the boys. I, I Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've never seen Sean Garcia fight before. I've never, I've never seen Sean Garcia fight before. Um, I, I hate to say that, but it's just the truth at the end of the day. It's just the truth. Lee Boy says, let's go, Sean Garcia. Yes, here we go. Sean Garcia next up. And we'll put it in the chat. Uh, one second, guys. Just clicking around in the background. Garcia coming up against Hyung Ho Yang. Who have you got winning? Here we go. Garcia versus... Um, oh, I can't spell his name. Sorry, guys. It's my fault. Uh, Hyung Ho Yang. Get it in the live chat there. There we go. Garcia versus Hyung Ho Yang. The next fight up. Sean Garcia is back, baby. Is his brother there in the crowd? What time does it start, says Beverly? It'll probably be, given the fact we have one, two, three. We have four fights before the main event. We're probably at least an hour and a half away. An hour and a half away. Sean is a slick southpaw, says Ricky. Well, we're about to witness it here. Thanks for coming in, Ricky. Thanks for coming in all as we enter this next round. Tim Hall says, Garcia. Making his ring walk first. 135 pounds. Here we go. It is the man. He is on home turf. He wants to get that knockout. It is Seung Ho Yang. Let's go. Joseph Jano says, shout out Idol from Cebu, Philippines. Shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to you. Here comes Seung Ho Yang. He is punching that camera. He is hype. He is hyped, and why not? A fight against Sean Garcia, no less. Here we go. Here we go, folks. If you haven't already, do like the video. 30 likes away now from 100. Sean or Seung Ho Yang, who is going to take it? I think Sean Garcia takes this one. I hope we get one South Korean victory tonight at least, though. I hope we get one. Here we go, though. The brother of Ryan Garcia making his ring walk. Will he step out of the shadows today? We will find out now. Here he comes. He's got a record of 6-0. and oh. Two of those coming by way of knockout. It is Sean Garcia. I'm not afraid. Take a stand. Everybody. Come take my hand. We gonna walk this road together. To the storm, whatever weather, cold or warm. Just let you know that we're not alone. Holla if you feel like you've been down the same road. It. Made him. Bro, who's winning, says Righto UK. Well, the main fight hasn't started yet, mate. And neither has this build-up fight between Sean Garcia and Seung Ho Yang. But I'll let you know as soon as things get going here. By the way, in the other card, we've got the co-main event coming up. Chrissy Cyborg is fighting next in that one. Yeah, it was, Lee Boy. It was. Is the fight happening right now? No, it isn't, Sword Tech. If you look below me, you can see what fight is about to get going. And once this timer goes, you'll know that things have kicked off. Here we go. I think Sean Garcia must take this one. He's not really a knockout artist like his brother, Ryan. Uh, but technical boxer, I think he will go for the knockout here, though. I think he wants to make a statement here in South Korea. He wants to take out his South Korean opponent on his home ground. Imagine if he does. They're, they're saying Sean was asleep. I think this is his girlfriend speaking here. Here we go. The m and so Because I just can't keep living this way. So starting today, we're breaking out of this cage. Guys, we have hit 5,000 subscribers. Let's go. Thank you all so, so much. As we start this fight, but I do just want to take one moment to say thank you all so, so much. You are all absolute legends. What a year it's been. 
in less than a year we've gained 5,000 subscribers thank you all so so much i'll talk more about it later because the fight has started thank you guys really do appreciate it you're absolute legends i love you all so much back to the action though ricky says sean has a nasty right hook let's see it then yang getting on that jab i see you just starting things a bit slowly here just trying to work out his opponent manage the distance in the early rounds in the early stages of the first round sorry oh, he's got a sharp jab has sean though as yang gets on that jab big right hand there from garcia beautiful beautiful straight right hand by yang yang's got a it looks like a slight reach advantage but i'm not sure i was here for 1k and now i was here for 5k thank you so much trouty man absolute legend or oh, good overhand left there and from Garcia, and then he fades away off that right hand, and then throws an overhand right. He's he's the quicker man here. Perhaps Yang has a little bit more power, but Sean faded away well there, and that's a fantastic straight left hand by Sean Garcia. Yang gets on that jab. Doesn't really have a reply to Garcia's speed right now, but he's hunting him down. He's trying to cut off the ring, but Garcia showing some good footwork to. Revert his position to the other corner. Good one, two straight by Yang, though. Yang starting to piece together some combinations as Garcia goes to the body. Good left hook, right hook combination by Sean. This is a four round bout, by the way. Four round bout. Oh, stiff left hand by Sean Garcia. Knocks Yang backwards. Yang seems to have a good chin, though. Sean straight left and right hook, a nasty great hand speed too. Yeah, exactly, Ricky. We are seeing it already, mate. We are seeing it already. Yeah, one thing I'll say about Sean, he just he seems so calm, cool, and collected at the moment. One, two straight there from him. Puts. Well, good straight right hand there from Sean Garcia. Sorry, I just got the fighters mixed up there. Um, as we get back into the action, sweeping right hand there from Yang, but he misses. Good head movement by Sean. Stiff jab. From both fighters. Sean maneuvers himself back to the center of the ring. Yeah, Yang gets back on that jab. Slightly passive end to this round with less than 20 seconds to go. See what happens next, though. Yeah, good uppercut there by Garcia. Very, very good indeed. A good one two straight by Sean Garcia as Yang gets on that jab again. Sean gets tied in a corner, but gets them out of the corner with a 1-2. And that was a really good round there from Garcia. Sorry, I've uh, still got the scorecard from the last fight on. We'll get the first round going for Sean Garcia. Garcia takes the first round for me. Thought he was more accurate. He selected his shots well. There wasn't a lot of volume coming off the gloves um, of Yang. Yang hasn't done a bad job at all, but Garcia, the more technical fighter... It's a steady start to this fight for him. It's a steady start to this fight, and I expect he will up the ante, up the speed, up the volume in the later rounds. But Yang seems to have a little bit of power, so he just needs to be careful. Yang, if I was him, I'd try and cut off the ring a little bit more, um, keep him in the corner, start throwing more combinations. He's a bit, a bit of a one-punch fighter so far in this fight. Here we go. Second round is seconds out. Here we go. Guys, let me know where are you watching from today, which country, which city, and who have you got winning in the main event? Is it DKU or is it Mr. Manny Pacquiao? Let me know in the live chat right now. Oh, good one, two by Garcia, and then he fades away onto another right hand. Really good work from him there. He just fades away so, so well. We love to see it, don't we? We love to see it. Jab by Garcia, another by Garcia. Straight right hand by Yang, and then he reverts his footwork just to get away from a count potential counter from Sean Garcia. Sean Garcia with a sweeping right hook there. Double jab by Yang. Garcia being very selective in terms of his shots here, but also very accurate. Another jab from Garcia. Yang steps forward. Double jab from him. Passive start to this round. First minute. It's on a knife edge, really. This round could go either way. Garcia edged the first. Oh, good left hook by Garcia. And then a right hand to follow up. The thing is, Garcia doesn't seem to have the power to take Yang out of there, though. Yang with a short overhand right. 
Good one, two from Garcia there. Another one, two by Sean. Yeah, Sean just doesn't seem to have that necessary power to take Yang out, but I'm sure he'll win if it goes the full four rounds. Chat by Sean, and he fades away again. He doesn't throw that time because just wasn't quite balanced enough to throw a left hand. Good straight left. Oh, and he fades away onto that right hand again. It's beautiful work from Garcia, and then a left hook, right hook combination. And he's coming into his own in the latter stages. Straight right hand there from Yang. Garcia gets penned in the corner, but he throws a overhand left to get himself out of trouble. And then a straight left hand. And then a right hook. Yang hasn't really got an answer here. I'm not sure why Yang isn't throwing. He's barely thrown a punch in this round, to be honest with you. Barely thrown a punch. He does throw now, though. He goes to the body and then he slaps a left hook to the dome of Garcia. Garcia, good one too there. Yang comes forward with that straight right hand. Oh, big right hook there from Yang. Misses, though. Well, it doesn't miss, but it grazes the chin. Doesn't land clean. 30 seconds to go in this round. Will we see a knockdown in this fight? I'm not so sure. Double right hook there by Sean Garcia. Overhand left by Sean Garcia. Here we go. 15 seconds to go. Sweeping right hands of the body by Yang. And then a straight left by Garcia to respond. Very interesting fight so far, guys. Very interesting indeed. I probably called him Ryan Garcia a number of times in this fight, by the way. If I have, all I can do is apologize. Got Chris Lee Van Doyogan coming in saying, let's go, Philippines. Let's go. I mean, I hope Manny can put on a show. I hope Manny can win. Second round, I will have that going to Garcia as well. He's just winning these rounds at the moment, guys. And it's a four-round bout. So you can't afford to lose any rounds in a four-round bout, really. By the way, Chrissy Cyborg has started her fight against Galloway. That is going to be an interesting one. Maybe we'll switch over to that one after the end of this fight. Let me know, guys, if you would like me to follow along with Chrissy Cyborg in an eight-round bout. But we'll probably only be able to watch half of it. And then after that, we have got the main event in that card between um, Terence Bud Crawford and Avenision. Here we go in the third round here. Bell goes. They touch gloves. Come on, the boys. And we get a knockout. How many rounds is Sean and Siong fighting? They are fighting four rounds. So we're in the penultimate round already. Good straight right hand there. Oh, stiff left hand by... Garcia, though, and then he throws an overhand right. Oh, Garcia goes left hook, right hook. Yang is landing in amongst all of this, though. It's not going to turn into a slugfest, is it? Left hook by Yang. Uppercut by Yang. Overhand right by Yang. Just gets, they get tied up in the middle. Referee breaks it up. Straight left hand by Garcia. Good jab by Sean Garcia. I think Yang's probably doing better than I'm giving him credit. We've got John Iresh Villanueva in saying, let's go, sir. Idol Manny Pacquiao. Thanks for coming in, John. Yes, Manny Pacquiao, the idol. Love it. Love it. I think idol means friend in Tagalog, does it not? Does it not? Oh, sweeping left hand by Garcia there. Just misses. Sung Ho Yang steps forward again. He's game for a fight here, but he's not quite got the skills required to take Garcia out of there. Well, good right hook there by Garcia. Yang, not nearly enough volume required to win this fight. I'm sorry to say it, guys, but... Yeah, <laughs> Yang gets Garcia in a bit of a headlock. We've turned MMA here. We've got DKU style. Garcia steps forward again. Left hook, straight right hand by Yang, but really good head movement by Garcia. And then he goes left hook, right hook, straight left hand. He gets the bridge going with that southpaw stance. An attempted uppercut there by Yang. That could have been vicious, but it doesn't quite land clean. Right hook by Garcia. Sean steps forward again. Body shot by, sorry, Yang. Uppercut by Yang. 
Sean tries a straight left hand, just misses it though. Yang gets him in the corner, but Yang's not throwing in the corner. What's the point in cutting off the ring and getting your opponent in the corner if you're not going to throw? Y you need to throw. You're losing this fight, Yang. It, it has been a close round, sure, but I still have Garcia edging it. Referee bl breaks up a little clinch there. And as we have 20 more seconds, I feel this round could be there for the taking. Someone could just put together a flurry, a combination at the end. They might just edge it, but I've got Garcia up at the moment. Yang gets him in the corner again. Yang goes to the body. He does throw in the corner now. Throws an overhand right. Garcia's countering. Oh, good end to the round there by Garcia with a 1-2-3. And I have to give that round to Garcia as well. And as we enter the final round, I feel the only way Seung Ho Yang can win now is is by way of knockout. He will need a knockout for me, uh, unless he has a crazy round where he gets two knockdowns or something. Joey Gotinero says, Paneluba, see Manny Pacquiao. Thanks for coming in, Joey. And Nilo Berodor says, shout out. Shout out to you, Nilo. Ricky says, four rounder. Yes, it is indeed. We are 18 likes away from 100. Hit that thumbs up button right about now. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers again. Maybe we can get to 6,000. No, no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. We, we can't do that. But we, we could try, can't we? We could try, can't we? Fourth and final round, Sean Garcia and Seung Ho Yang. They put on a pretty good display here. Will we get a knockout or will we go to the judges' scorecards again? Here we go. Bell goes. Final round. Will we have drama? I think Yang has got to go for it here, surely. Or oh, Yang does throw a huge uppercut. And then straight right hand. And then body shots Garcia with a counter right. Great start to the round there for Yang. Left hook, right hook combination by Garcia as Yang just switches up his footwork to change the angles from his perspective. Uppercut by Yang again. He's really up in the volume in this fourth and final round. He knows that he's probably down on the scorecards. Overhand right from Yang. Garcia penned in the corner. But really good footwork to get himself out of the corner. And then throw a left hook, right hook combination in the middle of the ring referee breaks up a clinch and that's not what yang needs it's not what yang needs right now yang needs them to be in the center of the ring he needs opportunities to knock sean out straight left hand by sean a bit of a rabbit punch there on the back of the head from yang but he's got to try anything right now body shots by yang uppercut left hook oh stiff straight right hand by yang and he's loading up sean holds on Sean holds on. One, two, three there from Sean. Nearly at the halfway stage of the final round. I do feel that Yang is taking this round so far, folks. I believe he is taking this round so far. As he Yang steps forward again, he gets Sean on the rope. Sean needs to be careful here. Straight right by Yang. Lexi's in. Liam, good to have you in, Lexi. Appreciate you coming in. How are you doing? Overhand right there from Yang. And then another, but Sean is countering. He is landing still, just not as much as his South Korean opponent. As Sean closes up, Yang comes forward. Really good counter right hand from Sean. And then a left hook. He's a fighter. He is a fighter. He's not going to sit down easily, that's for sure. Left hook, right hook, left hook by Yang. There's not a lot of power behind it now. I feel he's tiring in this round now. He really has put the work in in the early stages. He's not throwing with the full force of his body weight at the moment. Yang struggling physically. It's been a good end, end to this fight though. Straight left hand by Garcia. Sway Sway or Su Su come, Sue comes in saying, what time is the Pacquiao fight? I reckon it will be in about an hour and a half. Right hook, left hand by Garcia. He's ending this round well as... Gets tied up with Yang. I'm here for Manny, of course. I mean, that's what we're all here for at the end of the day. All these other fights, we're not actually that bothered about. We're here, we're here for Yang. Uh, sorry, not Yang. <laughs> oh, good right hand there by Yang. No, we are here for Yang. We're here for Manny, sorry. Not, we're not here for Yang. Although he is putting up a good fight in this final round. Uppercut. Right hook and Garcia holds on. I mean, that was a significant victory in that last round by Yang. I mean, if you look at the whole four rounds... 
The most significant victory, the most significant victory out of all those four rounds was Yang in the fourth. Garcia edged the first three. Yang dominated the last one. So it'd be interesting to see how the judges have this scored. I personally think this is a, sh a pretty much a shutout for Garcia. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens as we go to the judges' scorecards. The next fight on this card, by the way, will be Abel Mendoza versus Min Gukju. But what we will do, we will switch over to Terence Bud Crawford versus David Avenision when that starts. Um, guys, if you don't know about Terence Bud Crawford, he is one of the pound for pound best. Tim Hall says it's going to be a draw. I don't think I, I don't see it that way, man. I don't see it as a draw. I don't see it that way. Nine likes away from 100. Smash that like button now. I mean, Yang threw some bombs in that final round. But make no mistake, Sean Garcia was landing as well. He's just so quick sometimes. You can't see them. He doesn't quite have the speed of his brother, Ryan. He's definitely got pace off those punches. Definitely got pace off those punches. By the way, after 1,000 votes in the poll, 93% of people going for Mr. Manny Pacquiao. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy, folks. Pretty insane. Yeah, welcome back, Sean Garcia. He put up a relatively good display. Showed off his hand skills well. I just worry that even in the fourth round, it looked like he was fading already. Here we go. Official announcement coming up. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. Majority decision. Sung Ho Yak. I mean, what? That is disgusting. That is an absolute robbery. Xiong Ho Yang gets the win. What an awful... Corruption. Absolute corruption. Disgusting. And this is where I get disappointed with boxing. That is a disgusting robbery of a decision. I can't wait to hear from both fighters and see what they have to say. What an awful decision. They're saying, did you feel that you deserved that win? Disgusting. What a robbery that was. I feel like they're just thinking, oh, well, two South Koreans have lost. Let's give the next round. He's speaking Korean at the moment. We'll translate when we get the tra translation. We can't hear her. She doesn't have a mic. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't hear her because she doesn't have a microphone. S second round. Yang said in the third and fourth, he thought he was losing already. Will you have a rematch? I always wanted to go to the US, so any time. So Yang will go for the rematch. Let's hear from Sean Garcia, though. I imagine he is not happy. That was a great performance overall. How do you feel? He says, I was off for three years, but I felt great today. I love the sport of boxing. I don't think I lost. It is what it is. This is the sport. I'll be back. I'll keep training hard. He says, if you want to come to the United States, we would love to have you. Thank you, South Korea. Thank you all. You guys are so nice to me, and I would love to come back and do it all over again. Full respect to Sean there, because that was a disgusting decision. That was a disgusting decision. Look, in a four-round bout, I get it. It can go either way in a four-round bout. I do understand that for sure. But for me, that was a disgusting, disgusting, disgusting scorecard. I don't know how they had it. Look, not even one. It wasn't even a split decision. Not a single judge had that for Sean Garcia. Disgusting decision. Lucy Ann Malesio says Manny Pacquiao will be the winner of this game. Lucy Ann, I agree with you. I think so as well. We will find out. Coming up next is Abel Mendoza coming up against his opponent, Ming Guk Ju. We'll put that in the chat. But it is Crawford as well coming up. So as soon as that gets going, we will switch over to that. But next up is Mendoza versus Guk Ju. Min Guk Ju. Let's get that up there. Guys, if you are just joining us, let me know in the live chat. That's what I meant. Judges are going to give him at least one close round and he won another. So draw at the very least. 
But you shouldn't. You, you agree though, Tim, that it shouldn't have been though, right? AKMN says, woohoo, El Paso strong. Let's go, Abel. Well, Mendoza is up next. I'm just going to take a very quick toilet break. I will be back in a couple of minutes. Be right back, guys. Do not go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. Let's just reset the scorecards before then. I will be back in a minute. I just need a quick toilet break. One second, guys. Be right back. Yes, guys, we are back from that quick break. I'm just listening to you. But yeah, from the way you made it sound, the wrong guy won. I'd agree. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, he definitely did. Don't worry. I it, I mean, it wasn't like the most obvious win ever, but it, it was a win. Um, hopefully, we get the rematch. Is the next fight Manny? It is not. Before then, we have got Mendoza. Abel Mendoza coming up against Min Gukju. And then we have got two more fights before Manny Pacquiao. If you are just joining us, guys, we are not at the main event yet. But we are buzzing for Manny Pacquiao versus DKU. Good to have you guys in. Let me know who you were supporting in this one. Who you think is going to win. How do you think the fight's going to go and all that good stuff. I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait, guys. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic, that's for sure. It is going to be epic. Here comes Abel Mendoza making his way into the ring. 100 likes, Liam. Well, mine says 99 at the moment. So if we could get one more, then we could confirm it, Lexi. Uh, thank you, though. Thank you, though. Keeping a track for me. Keeping a track. Also, 5,000 subscribers. We made it. We got to 5,000. You absolute goats. You absolute goats. Legends. Minguk Ju is in the ring. He has eight wins and five losses. Abel Mendoza has 33 wins, zero losses. Why is Mendoza fighting this guy then? Why is a guy with 33 wins, zero losses, and 25 knockouts fighting someone with... Unless I read that incorrectly. Unless I read that incorrectly. 
But I'm a little bit shocked that this fight's happening then. <laughs> here we go. Referee speaking to both fighters. Chan Su Kim, the referee here today. Abel Mendoza coming up against Min Gukju. Here we go. Here we go. Seconds out. Another four-round bout. I love in these four-round bouts. It, it, it does make boxing a little bit more exciting. It does make boxing a little bit more exciting. We've got Gukju off that southpaw stance. And then Orthodox for Mendoza. They're just feeling each other out at the start of this round. Mendoza is a monster, says Ricky. Seems to be. 33 wins, 25 knockouts. Beast. Left hook by Mendoza. A right hook, a left hook. He's landed already. Minguk Ju needs to be careful. Maybe he was an awesome amateur. Maybe. 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 They get tied up in the clinch here. Scrappy start to this round. They break it up themselves. Referee breaks it up. I mean, what's the referee doing? Shut up, mate. Just let them fight. I don't know what he was saying to them there. Oh, good work by Mendoza. He's very quick with the left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook. Yeah, Mendoza is, Mendoza is an athletic guy. Slightly smaller than Minguk Ju, it appears. Let's see. Mendoza actually has two more wins and one more KO. They have it wrong. Oh, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Couple of jabs by Ju. Oh, good jab there by Mendoza. And then he pivots and creates a different angle for himself. He was a little bit on the outside, so couldn't throw after that pivot, but... Very good footwork from him. A sweeping left hand from Mendoza. A couple of fights in Mexico weren't recorded properly. Oh, fair enough, Ricky. Thanks for the information, my good friend. They said four-round bout before this started, but on my screen it does say six. I will keep you updated, though. Hi, Albert. Thanks for coming in, mate. Thanks for coming in, Albert. Appreciate you coming in, dude. Left hook there by Ju. Uh, sorry, by Mendoza. And then Jew tries to come forward. Jab by Jew. 50 seconds to go. Not a whole lot's happened in this round. I've got Mendoza edging it because Jew just hasn't really put any sort of significant combinations together here. As Jew tries to cut off the ring and Mendoza throws that slapped overhand left. Jew does come forward and he leans against Mendoza. Mendoza slips. Another slip. Why is there so many slips in the in this event? It's a bit strange to me. 30 seconds to go. This round's there for the taking, really. Good. One, two, three combination by Mendoza, though. And then a left hook from Abel Mendoza tries to go round the guard, but this high guard of Minguk Ju is quite difficult to break down, it appears, so far. One, two straight from Ju, and they get tied up again. The clacker goes. And I mean, these fighters have to be careful, because if we look at that last fight between Garcia and Yang, the benefit of the doubt is going with the South Koreans here. And that is the end of the first round. I have got that going for Mendoza. Abel Mendoza takes the first round for me. I'll call him AB on the scorecard. I've got AB taking the first round. Osman, good to have you in as well, buddy. Good to have everybody in. If you haven't already, please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. The ne what, what should we have, guys, as the next subscriber goal? What do you think? Should it be 7.5k or 10k? What should be the next goal? Let me know. Because we need to change it actually in the in the in the bit below. So if you guys can let me know, I'll go with a general consensus. I just feel Mendoza needs to load up a little bit more now. Just needs to load up a little bit now. Jew is no bum. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He doesn't appear to be. He's strong on his feet. He seems to have a little bit of power. He's not as skillful as Mendoza, sure, but seems to be. Doing a good job in there so far. Abel's got levels to go, though. Abel's got levels to go. Yes, Albert. 6K. Nah, Tim. We've got to go bigger than that. Oh, good one-two there by Jew. And then Abel lands a counter left hook. Uppercut by Jew. Right hook by Jew. Jew's starting to load up here. Oh, and Jew just picks him up there almost and 
put Sable Mendoza on the floor. That was a little bit strange. My time is slightly behind. I'm just going to bring it forward a little bit. It's two minutes and five seconds. Second round of six here. 7,500. Yeah, maybe we'll go for that. Let's see if there's any other ideas. We're just seeing on the other screen here, David Avanision warming up for his fight against Terence Bud Crawford. Straight left hand there by Jew. This is a better round from Jew. Able with that one, two. Jab from Mendoza. Jew comes forward. Good left hook there from Mendoza. Sneaky one, but I feel he needs to follow up when he has success off the hook. Follow up with a straight right hand. Why not? Slapped left hook by Minguk Ju. As I go to the center ring, my stream is slightly slowing down a little bit, guys. Guys, let me know. Would you prefer... No, no. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Meet me in the middle. Basically, the choice is either 7.5 or 10. It's your choice. 7.5 or 10. Choose one of those. Choose one of those, mate. Oh, good work by Mendoza on the ropes here. Left hook, right hook. Jew lands back with a straight right hand. Yeah, guys, let me know what you'd prefer me to watch. Crawford or the rest of this comp. We can watch Terence Crawford once that one gets going, if you guys would like. And they're slugging it out on the ropes right now. Mendoza's having a lot of success here. Jew, though, gets back on that jab. 30 seconds to go in this round, or thereabouts. One, two, three there by Obel Mendoza. Then a big overhand right by Mendoza. Jab by Jew. One, two by Mendoza. They're going punch for punch right now. It's been an exciting fight so far. Good left hook by Mendoza. Needs to be careful, though. He's got a low guard, and his chin does appear to be exposed from time to time. And that is the end of the second round. I'm going to have that guy into Mendoza again. Sorry, I don't know why I called him Ab last time. A.M., sorry. Abel Mendoza takes the second round for me. Let me know what you think, guys. Hock Lee coming in saying Pacquiao 100. <coughs> Apologies, guys. Pacquiao 100%. Really, 100%. You're not giving DKU any chance. I mean, I agree with you, but I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Just playing devil's advocate as we enter the third round in this bout. Crawford versus Avanision is coming up next. I'll tell you what. We'll go for 7,500. We'll go for 7,500. It's updated in the ticker below. We'll go for 7,500 as the next. The next goal. Here we go, though. Third round coming up. I've got Mendoza edging the round so far. Been relatively even, to be honest with you guys. Let's see what happens next. Let's see what Albert's saying in Filipino. Sir, my idol is Pacquiao. God bless you to win. Well, hopefully he can. Ooh, good work there at the start of this round. Between both of them, really. Good exchange there. Stiff left hand by Jew. And Abel looks slightly wobbled and shaken there, but not stirred. Abel comes for a big left hook. Big liver shot there. Jab. Straight right hand. Jew claiming the back of the head shot. But I think you need to keep your head in the game, mate. Get your, get your head in the game. We got to get a, get a, get a, get a head in the game. Ooh. Filipinas, says Morales. Dan Clinton, thanks for coming in, bro. Thanks for coming in. One, two, three there by Mendoza. Another one, two by Mendoza. He's starting to take over. Uppercut from Jew. Jew just doesn't have the skill from the outside. He doesn't have that bang, 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 bang. He comes in and he just... He's, he's unorthodox, let me tell you that. Sweeping left hand by Jew. One, two, three again from Mendoza. Mendoza, uppercut, left hook, straight right hand. Really good combination building here by Mendoza now. He's showing his skill levels. He's upping the skill levels and he's... He's, he's making good work of it right now. Is Pacquiao start yet? Says Gabriel, not yet, my friend. That'll be on a bit later on. A bit later on. Uppercut there by Jew. Overhand left by Jew. Did Nico Hernandez already fight? Let's have a look, mate. 
Nico Hernandez has not fought yet. He is on in two fights time. We've got this one and then one before that and then Nico Hernandez. Who's moving forward? I mean, it's kind of both of them really, mate, to be honest with you. And there's not one who's like chasing the other down and getting them on the ropes. And, and not a lot of this fight is being done on the ropes. But as we say that, Jew does get Mendoza on the ropes here. But Mendoza's the one throwing on the ropes. Couple of left hooks, straight right hand. Jew's not really throwing here. He does throw a straight left. Jocelyn says 100. 100 what? 100 what, Jocelyn? Thanks for coming in. Eddie's in. Thanks for coming in, bro. Guys, make sure if you are coming in, do like the video and all that good stuff here. Don't forget. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a strange one. Maybe Jew's more of the aggressor in terms of pushing Mendoza backwards. But Mendoza on the back foot looks great. And this has been a great round from him. One, two, three there from Mendoza. Mendoza's not showing a lot of power per se, but he's building combinations very well. Different shots, left hooks, uppercuts, changing up the angles. And, and Jew's doing a good job, but he's only really got one shot. And it's that straight or overhand. It's kind of midway between a straight and an overhand right. And that's the end of the third round. End of the third round. I got it, guy, Mendoza again. I think this is a shutout so far, guys. I think this is a shutout so far. I don't think Jews won a single round. That's my humble opinion. Eddie putting the thumbs up there. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. If the rounds are tight or even tight-ish, Jew wins the round. I mean, I, 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 the thing is, when I score it, though, Tim, I, I try my best not to take that into consideration. Because otherwise, it'd be, you know, you'd always be giving the advantage to the home fighter. You have to give the benefit of the doubt that maybe they are scoring well. Although I did do that in one of the previous fights. But I only really do that if a fighter is down on the scorecards, if you get me. So, like, maybe if the next round's tight, I might give it to um, to our man Jew. Let's go, though. Fourth round. The commentator in my ear says, I've got Abel winning. But you never know what happens. I mean, I agree with that. I agree with that. Jew gets him in the corner. Abel on the ropes, throwing some really good combinations. Right hook, left hook. Jew just shrugs his shoulders. He says, I didn't feel that. And full credit to him. Uppercut, left hook by Abel. Left hook by Jew, though. He lands well. Oh, that's a big right hand, though, by Abel Mendoza. And then another. They tie up in the clinch. Referee should step in here. My shorts are riding up my ass. <laughs> Too much information, maybe. Sorry about that. Oh, and Abel's on the canvas there. Bit of a MMA takedown by Jew. Yeah, referee just giving it a bit of time and we get going again here. Two minutes to go in round four. So I think this is a six-rounder. Oh, big uppercut there by Abel. Followed up by a left hook. And then a one-two. Jew throws a right hand, though. But Abel's thrown an incredible right hand himself. Left hook by Mendoza. Straight right hand and a straight left by Min Guk Ju. Yeah, Min Guk Ju. Min Guk Ju just doesn't seem to put together combinations. He's maximum two punches per combination. Are the fans impacting the fight at all? Not really. It's very quiet in the crowd. Not a lot of chanting, singing, screaming, shouting. Um, it's, it's not the best of crowds, I will say that. But I think it will get pumped up for Manny Pacquiao, mate. That's for sure. Good question, though. Thanks for your questions, dude. Sweeping left hook by Mendoza. This has probably been the worst fight of the, of the, of the card so far. Abel comes forward, though, showing a lot of skill. Maybe I'm doing him a discredit. One, two, straight, followed up by the right hook for Abel Mendoza. And then a couple of left hooks on the dome of Ming Gok Ju. His hand speed's pretty incredible, actually. And Ming Gok Ju just misses. He's not quick enough, Ju. You could, you could see his punches coming from a mile off, Ju. And, that, and that's why Mendoza's easily able to duck under it and pivot his footwork. Big uppercut there by Mendoza, but he was tagged with a counter right by Ming Gok Ju. Right hook there by Mendoza. One, two, three by Mendoza. He is loading up. I'd love to see the stats in terms of punches thrown and landed. Unfortunately, they're not giving us it on this coverage. I thought they usually would. 
Terence Crawford versus David Avenision is coming up soon. We will switch over to that when it does happen. Jab by Mendoza. And that is the end of the round. Sorry, my timer was slightly behind. I mean, that's got to be another round for Abel Mendoza. And as we have two rounds to go, really and truly, that, and that was a pretty significant round, by the way. Uh, Abel far outlanded Ming, uh, Ju. Mingguk Ju is having moments. He's having moments. Maybe every 40 seconds where he lands a big shot. But apart from that, it, it's not good enough from him. I mean, he's a two-punch fighter at the moment. He's a two-punch fighter at the moment. As we're in the fifth round, the penultimate round in this bout. Guys, let me know in the live chat who is winning the main event. Will it be Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao or DK, the unknown entity you? Let me know in the live chat. I would love to know. I would love to know. Here we go. Yeah, there's some confusion here. We said it at the start of the fight. Mingguk Ju seems they're working out whether it should be four rounds or six rounds. I mean, this is embarrassing. Three bells. The f Apparently, it should be a four-round fight. But, but they were getting prepped for the fifth. I mean, this is shambolic. This is shambolic. They're speaking in South Korean at the moment. Tiafimo got dropped in the second round. Tiafimo Lopez was fighting today? Tiafimo Lopez wasn't fighting today, was he? I thought he... Did he fight today? Oh, he was fighting today. I didn't realise that. Is that happening now? Is that happening now? Shit, I didn't realise that was happening, man. Thanks for that information, Ricky. By the way, Terence Crawford's in the ring. All right, let's hear. They said, okay, so this is a four-round fight. I mean, this is shambolic. What is this? Yep, he's getting worked. And I mean, look. I, I think Felix says, go, 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 Pacquiao. On now live on ESPN. Okay, man. There's so many boxing matches going on today. I didn't know what one to choose. I did not know what one to choose, mate, to be honest with you. Okay, so they announced the fact that there was confusion. The commission thought this was a six-round fight. But we will have the scoring. I mean, if we get another robbery here, I'm going to be absolutely embarrassed. I think it's Sandor Martin Tiafimo Lopez is coming up against. I mean, this is disgusting. How can you have this in professional boxing, not knowing how many rounds the fight should be? The commission are saying they thought it was a six-round fight. The promotional company think it was a four-round fight. So there's a little bit of disagreement here about how long this fight should have gone on. But I think we are going to have the announcement here. Here we go. Four-round bout. Why isn't he announcing it? He's just gone quiet. He suddenly decided. To... Why has he stopped speaking? It's just if if is a draw. Oh my god! What is this man? This is disgusting. This is disgusting. It was a four-round shutout for Abel Mendoza. Ah, oh, this is disgusting, man. It's Triller Fight Club. Triller Fight Club, Tim Hawk. What is th oh, I'm disgusted. I, 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 I'm tempted to stop watching this. That is a disgusting, horrible decision. Or, oh, I'm just... I can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it, given what we saw in the last... What is going on? It's almost as if, right? And I'm going to get angry here. It's almost as if... They've seen the first two fights. They've seen that two South Koreans have lost. And they've gone, do you know what? For the next two, we're, get, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Disgusting. Disgusting. This is the problem with boxing at the moment. This is the problem with boxing at the moment. 
I mean, <laughs> is it worth watching this, guys? Is it worth watching this? If we're just going to get robberies left, right, and center? What, what, what do you guys think? What, what, what? Should we just shut up shop here? We will just give it to... Is DKU going to win? Is DK... DKU's probably going to get knocked down on the canvas and the judges will go, well, you know what? He, he's probably won that fight. He's probably won that fight. Let's hear from Abel Mendoza, though. Let's hear from him. At this rate, they're going to rob Manny. Exactly, Ricky. If you are just joining us, guys, sorry about the anger, but I have to say it how it is. Please do smash that like button. There's over 200 of you in here. If you all hit that like button and subscribe right now, we will be a step closer to our goals. We're just hearing from Mendoza here. He says, I love the people of South Korea. It's amazing. He says, you know, I'm happy to be here. Grateful. Thank you to Trilla. Have they been told not to say anything or they get kidnapped? He's thanking his coach. Everyone watching back at home. Thank you, guys. Mendoza says, I'm confused. Okay. She says, that's understandable. How ready do you feel to face guys in the 130-pound division? He says, I don't know what's going on in this fight. He says, oh, shoot. Abel saying, I guess, my fight was an exhibition. Was it? The other fighter here is an exhibition. I don't understand. I'm confused what Mendoza is trying to say here. Oh, Abel Mendoza's calling out Manny Pacquiao here. Abel Mendoza is calling out Manny Pacquiao. I don't get why Abel is stuttering over his words here. He's really struggling to get his words out. Abel says, we both fight for Trilla. Let's get it on. Abel Mendoza calls out Manny Pacquiao. It was the most timid call out I've ever seen. He was going, well, you know, um, Manny, you're, you're, you know, you want to fight uh, Manny? Why don't, why don't we uh, uh, get it on? David Alanision has thrown a big overhand right against Terence Crawford, by the way. A big overhand right. We're going to continue to focus on this event, though, because this is unfolding very, very interestingly indeed. Abel won every round, says Christian. I agree. Ricky says, kidnap, lol. DKU leaves on a stretcher as they announce is a draw. <laughs> Let's see, bro. It could happen. It could happen. We've got the next fight covered up. Let's see what happens. We are keeping an eye on Terence Crawford here. They're in the second round of 12 in that one. DKU doesn't show unanimous decision for you. Exactly, mate. I mean, this is a disgrace. I hate it when this happens. Kim Min Woo is making his ring walk here. Isaac Ben, you know there are two other great fights right now. Tio and Butter fighting right now. Yeah, Isaac, I'm watching Crawford in the background, mate. I'm watching Crawford in the background. But unfortunately, uh, you're not able to purchase that fight in Singapore, so... I had to play it safe and cover the one that I'm able to cover. AKMN says, that's whack. I mean, Amanision's doing a good job right now against Crawford, by the way. He's doing a good job against Crawford right now. I mean that seriously. I mean that seriously. Next up, we've got Davidson versus Min Wook Kim. Let's see. Let's just get it in there. Davidson versus... Oh, Oh, so apparently now they're saying, I mean, this is just corruption. Apparently they're now saying, oh, it wasn't a professional fight. It was an exhibition. That's why it was a draw. What? So you're telling me they didn't even know what type of fight this should have been. It's disgusting. A couple of jabs there from Avanision. Bud Crawford goes to the body. I mean, Terence is struggling a little bit right now. Double jab there by Crawford. Crawford goes upstairs, then downstairs with a jab in this second round. One, two straight there from Avenision. Avenision, someone that will always bring heat. He will always bring heat. But Crawford, someone who grows throughout fights. In the later rounds, that's when he comes to shine. 
that's when he starts to get bigger, better, bolder, stronger. Sounds like a Kanye West song. <laughs> Guys, what do you make of this so far? What do you think is going on here? Let me know your genuine thoughts. What is going on here on this card? Why have we seen two robberies already? Who are going to fight next? Next up, my friend, is Davidson versus Min Wook Kim. As Crawford throws a couple of jabs there. Avenision steps forward with that high guard, throws to the body. Min Wook Kim is in the ring. He has a record of 16 wins, a single loss, 12 coming by weight of knockout. He is 35 years of age. Felix says this is crazy. It is crazy, bro. It is crazy, bro. So let's let's clarify then. Is the next fight an exhibition or not? And how many rounds is it going to be? Can the commission just check? Can the commission please check? Marcus Davidson's in the ring, by the way. He is the brother of Marcel Davidson, who won his fight earlier on. Here we go. We are going to get started here in this one. Avenison's in the corner there. He's had a decent first couple of rounds, but I think Crawford, by the looks of what I'm seeing, has edged both of them so far. Crawford has edged both of the first two rounds from what I have seen, my good folks. Here we go in this fight, though. Couple of jabs by Marcus Davidson, Minwok Kim. Is he going to be able to... Well, he probably will be able to cause another upset because all you have to do is get in the ring and the judges will just give it to you. Jab by Davidson. It's like they were trying to protect the record in that last fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, it was an exhibition. He didn't lose. He didn't lose. It was an exhibition. Strange. Very, very strange indeed. Passive start to this round. A Davidson. Du, 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 du. A Davidson. Du, 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 du. A da I just hope Davidson wins now, to be honest. I just hope he wins now. By the way, after this, it will be Nico Hernandez versus Jai Young Kim. Sure, you know I'm just going to focus on uh, Bud Crawford for a while, guys, if you don't mind. I'm just going to focus on Bud Crawford for a while. Crawford with the uppercut. A 1 2 there from Crawford. Avenision steps forward with that straight right hand. By the way, in this fight, we are in the third round. A couple of jabs by Davidson in the other fight. Oh, good left hook there by Bud Crawford. Avenison tries to get Bud Crawford in the corner. Bud gets himself out with that leading jab. A couple of uppercuts by Avenison. Avenison goes to the body. As Crawford steps forward. Crawford with the jab. Basically, what I'll do is I'll keep all the screen up for the Manny Pacquiao event. But if something crazy happens uh, in the Davidson versus Kim fight, I'll let you know. A jab and an overhand left there from Avenison. Bug Crawford with a 1-2. Uppercuts from Avenison. This is a good round for him so far. Very good round indeed. Oh, good work there by Kim in the other fight that we're seeing on the other side of my screen. Judges from the area, maybe, promoter, or the fix is in with both. I mean, the judges are definitely being persuaded somehow. I don't want to say how, but there's some sort of persuasal tactics going on. Having Yusson steps forward again. I thought Teofimo Lopez was supposed to fight a few weeks ago. Am I wrong in saying that? I thought Teofimo Lopez already fought a couple of weeks ago. Oh, good work there by Kim in the other fight. Not a lot going on in this Crawford Avenision fight. The fight no one wanted to see. Really good uppercut by Davidson. It's the end of that first round. Got Davidson taking that one by the looks of what I have seen. MD. Marcus Davidson takes it. So we're into the second round in this bout. If you are just joining us, guys, it would really help out the channel if you could hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. We've already hit 5,000 subscribers today, which is incredible. That was our year-end goal and we have smashed that out of the park. 
but please do hit that like button. Let's get the video to 150 likes, you absolute legends. Let me know in the live chat. This is my next question. Who is your favorite fighter? Who is your favorite boxer in the world? Two. One that's retired, one that's still fighting today. Let me know in the live chat. Jinky Kanate says, man, shout out to me, please. Shout out to you, Jinky Kanate. So we enter the second round of this bout. To be honest, the Crawford fight's boring me, so I'm going to go back to this one. Davidson with a jab. Good one-two there by Kim. We haven't seen many finishes in this card. I thought after the first... I thought after the first... Um, the first fight, we were going to see drama in all of the fights here, but it hasn't really been the case, has it? Hasn't really been the case. Seol no makes sense, says Rel. Yeah, it's been a disgrace. James lights out tight. Oh, big shot by Kim! One, two, three there by Davidson. But that was a good shot by Kim. Kim woke up Davidson there with that shot. Fair enough, Chris McQuett. Love that. And Kim comes forward. This has been a good round for him so far. I've got him edging this round with two minutes to go. The commentators are really bitter. They're saying anything can sway the judges at this point. I mean, I do agree. I do agree. I get what they're saying. Fury and Roy. Yeah, I love a bit of Tyson Fury, mate. He's one of my favorites as well. Good shot to the body there by Kim. Jab, straight right hand by Davidson. Work to the body there by Kim. And then an uppercut by Kim. Body work by Davidson. They're going punch for punch right now. Slugging it out a little bit. Yeah, so the reason I've gone back to this fight, guys, is because my coverage for Crawford is just awful. Awful. Good work to the body there by Kim. I'll be close to the Manny fight. So we're getting closer. We're not that close, but we are getting closer. I reckon... We'll probably see Manny make his ring walk within the hour. Within the hour. It's a good round for Kim, this. This is a more even fight, it appears. Kim comes forward. Good work to the body by Kim. Couple of uppercuts by Marcus. Jinky says Pacquiao win. Let's see. Will Pacquiao get the win today? Good overhand right there by Kim. Davidson's struggling a little bit right now. Struggling a little bit. Favorite fighter ever, Mike Tyson Prime. Best fight of my life, Sugar Ray Leonard. Best boxer today, Fury. I like that list, man. Sweeping left hook there by Kim. Oh, a big right hook, though, by Davidson to reply. This round could go either way, so you know what way it's going. Honorable mention to Canelo and Triple G. I like that as well, mate. I'm a big Frank Bruno fan. He, he's definitely not the best boxer ever, but when he finally won that world title after so many years, it was epic. Good head movement by Davidson to get himself out of trouble. Good uppercut there by Kim. And, ooh, a bit of beef at the end of the round. End of the second round. I've got that going to Kim. We'll call him MWK on the scorecard. I've got Kim taking the second round. It's a six-round bout, by the way, folks. A six round bout has Abel Mendoza fought already yes Sebastian and there was absolute controversy Sebastian the commission thought it was supposed to be a six round bout it ended up being a four round bout as we had anticipated it to be and then they robbed Mendoza of a victory and gave a draw they robbed Mendoza of a victory and gave a draw even though Mendoza won all of the rounds every single round was a Mendoza round it was a joke. It was a real, real joke. Disgraceful, to be honest. Absolutely disgraceful. Here we go. Third round. Let's go. After this fight, there's one more fight before the Pacquiao fight. And then we're there. Jab by Davidson. Double jab by Kim. Sebastian says, nah, that's it. I know, mate. I know. But... Sebastian also, it was supposed to be a professional fight, but they changed it to be an exhibition. So it was supposed to be a professional fight, and then they changed it to be an exhibition. Kim with some good work on the ropes here, and Davidson steps backwards. Two and a half minutes to go in round three. 
Davidson defensively has been good so far. Crawford really good in that last round, by the way, from what I see. Is it only one more fight to the main event? Well, it's one and a half fights. Thank you for the information, bro. No worries, mate. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do. Give you all the information. I've never heard of anyone who actually liked Bruno that wasn't from the UK. Yeah, probably not, mate. Probably not. He's a British hero, though. Yeah, Davidson throwing a good right hand. It's been an even round again. Good one-two by Davidson, though. He's starting to load up a little bit more. Crawford still hasn't got Avenision out of there. I'm surprised about that. I, I had that actually finish in within the first five. So we're in the fifth round at the moment. Crawford could get it done here. Good left hook there by Kim. And then a straight right hand. Davidson, good head movement again. I think all the linear champs up to Lennox could win today. Fury is that level though. Yeah, Fury is at that level. Uppercut from Kim here. Oh, big uppercuts from Kim. A left hook that just bounces off the guard of Kim. Davidson trying to come back into it, but he's coming up against a tough, tough competitor in Min Wook Kim. Those uppercuts are vicious. He throws another. Like DJ Khaled, another one. A right hand. A right hook by Davidson, though. A left hook attempted by Kim, swing and a miss. Let's see what happens next. I mean, this has been a fun one so far. It's been better than the last couple of fights, that's for sure. As Kim lands to the body, and then a short overhand to the dome. Davidson with a 1-2. Frank Bruno, that's a cool pick. Appreciate it, man. Oh, short right hand again from Kim. Couple of uppercuts from Davidson. He's saying, if you uppercut me, I'm going to uppercut you straight back. But let me tell you this, guys. Based on what we've seen so far, the judges will definitely swing towards Kim in this fight. This is a very good round for Kim. More uppercuts. And Davidson needs to step back and not allow Kim on the inside because he's getting tagged with these uppercuts right now. Good shots to the body there by Kim. Uppercut by Davidson. They're slugging it out at the moment. Oh, good one, two. And that was a slugfest that round. I've got it down the... Gullet of Min Wong Kim. Breaking news. The fight with Sean Garcia has been changed to a draw. Sean Garcia originally lost that fight. It has been changed to a draw. What is going on? What is go How can it be changed? How can it be changed? The judges score... I mean, I agree... Well, I don't agree with it. Sean Garcia won the fight. It's been changed to a draw. The Sean Garcia fight that we saw earlier, he was robbed of a victory. They gave it to his opponent. And now they've changed their decision and they've given it as a draw. I mean, at least if you're going to change the result, make it the right one. Sean Garcia won that fight. Sean Garcia won that fight. Here we go. Fourth round here. This is a sixth round bout. Yeah, how how have they how have they reviewed the decision and then still given a draw? <laughs> oh, good right hand there from Kim, and he's rattled Davidson a bit. And Davidson right now is losing this fight. I would say just about. <laughs> Not with them, they'll probably give this to Davidson, even though this has probably been the best round from. A best fight from a South Korean so far. Uppercuts from Kim. Body shot by Kim. Straight right hand by Kim. Tim Hort, I love this fight. Yeah, boxing isn't corrupt at all. Nah, nah, no corruption. Nah, the judges are all lovely geezers. I mean, this is really good combination building by Minwook Kim right now. Uppercuts, left hooks, right hooks. Davidson comes back with a right hook, left hook combination though. Two minutes to go in this round. Bit of a low blow there by Kim. Needs to be careful. Marcus sets... Interestingly, Marcus... Dissimilar to his brother. Dissimilar to his brother. And the cameraman gets in the way. What is he doing? Marcus Davidson nearly hit his head on the back of the camera. Because the camera was literally in the ring. What's he doing? What's he doing? Is he trying to get a close-up of his balls? Uppercut from Kim... Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. How can you have a camera encroaching into the ring? Good uppercuts here by Kim, though. Left hook to the body by Kim. Yeah, man, it, it is a joke. It really is a joke. It is a joke, but... Yeah, Marcus Davidson lands to the body finally. He hasn't, he hasn't loaded up to the body enough for me. We want to see more of that from him. We want to see more of that from him. And hopefully we do. Yeah, we're going to hear from Sean Garcia next. We're going to hear from Sean Garcia next. Or oh, left hook by Kim. Straight right hand by Kim. The event, This event is amateur AF. Yeah, it's just a shambles. Or oh, uppercuts from Kim again. Short overhand right. And he's winning this round again to his credit. Straight right hand, body shots by Kim. Marcus throwing a couple of uppercuts in amongst all of this. Terence Crawford in amongst all of this is getting pieced up by Avanision. Same time I've followed MMA, but now I've had a huge boxing interest. I love it just as much, if not more. Yeah, me too, man. I like both, and UFC is going on right now. Right now, UFC is happening. I'm actually going to check in on... Some of the results there, because I know Paddy Pimblett is fighting. Paddy Pimblett is next up, by the way. Paddy Pimblett is next up. That is going to be exciting. Creamed corn service YouTube fighters cameraman bonking peeps on the head. Yeah, it's a joke, mate. Uh, that's the end of the fourth round. I'm going to give that to Kim again. It was a good round from him. I got three rounds to one for Kim. I like the tune in the in in the halftime interval. I like it. I just do like it, mate. It has everything, and you never know what will happen. I once saw a guy parachute into a ring during a heavyweight match. Holy versus! I've I've never seen that. The real Patty the Batty. Yes, the real Patty the Batty. So who is DKU? I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Penultimate round in this fight. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and Avanision's been knocked out. Terence Crawford has knocked out David Avanision. What an incredible knockout that was. I just saw it flash past my screen. Terence Crawford knocks out David Avanision and he gets the victory. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, really good left hook. And Kim's put him to the canvas. It's all going on. A left hook from Kim puts Davidson on the ground. Will Davidson get up? We've had knockouts, knockdowns. It's all going off here. Davidson gets up. It's been called off. Oh, come on. What are you doing, referee? What are you doing? He was on his feet. He was fine. Disgraceful. I'm getting annoyed with this now. I'm getting annoyed with this now. Was it even 10 seconds? Did he even give him enough time? Davidson was up. He gave the count. Davidson was up. He was ready to go and he's called the fight off. Disgusting. I'm serious. <laughs> Shit's going off, says Chris. Avanision, by the way, is still on the canvas. I hope he's going to be okay. Avanision's a, a nice guy, good fighter as well. I mean, Kim was winning that fight. I don't want to take anything away from him. Kim was winning that fight. I mean, the commentators agree with the stoppage. I don't. He was on his feet. He was ready to go. He was on his feet. He was ready to go. I do not agree with that stoppage, personally. I do not agree with that stoppage. If you are just joining us, guys, please do smash that like button. This has been a very interesting... Let's just see this knockout from Crawford again, though. Uppercut. Oh, right hook. Right on the chin. And that was all she wrote. Crawford... Absolutely destroying David Avanision. Incredible. Incredible.
I mean, it was a really good fight from Kim. I don't want to take anything away from him. I don't want to, you know, use this as fuel to hate on Kim. But I feel that was a fast stoppage. Yeah, I agree with you, Chris. What if DKU was just a dish Pac-Man takes on a plate of food? It does sound like a bit of food, doesn't it? It does sound like a bit of food, actually, doesn't it? Minwa Kim takes the victory via technical knockout in the fifth round. If you haven't watched the Holy vs. Bow trilogy, you really need to. It's the best story I've ever watched and three fantastically awesome. But I haven't, mate. I better check it out. It's probably a bit before my time, mate. So I will check it out, Tim. I appreciate it. Kim and Terence Crawford getting their wins almost exactly the same time. Pretty incredible stuff. Pretty incredible stuff. As we enter the penultimate fight, by the way, guys, coming up next is Nico Hernandez versus Jai Young Kim. And then we will have Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao against DKU. Here we go. Here we go, lads and ladies. We're at the business end of this card. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, the boys. Guys, what do you think? Are we gonna oh, are we gonna get a DKU knockout? I think we are. Let get yourself to the, are we getting a DKU? Is he gonna come in and do a flying elbow to the chin? I might even stick on a bit of Paddy Pimblet, lads. It's a day of boxing. I'm gonna stick on a bit of Paddy Pimblet. Screw it. Screw it. Why not? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Let's stick on UFC. Why not? Let's see how Paddy Pimblet's getting on. This is a this is this is a chaotic stream, guys. Rodell's in. Thanks for coming in, Rodell. Thanks for everyone coming in today. This has been one of the biggest streams. And look, while we've got a little break, I want to talk about the five K subs because I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, we've been working hard all year. We started this channel. I think the Paddy Pimblet fight has finished. Ah, shame. Pimblet wins. Paddy Pimblet has won. Paddy Pimblet has won his fight. Yeah, we've been working hard all year, man. We started this channel in Jan. Let's see this knockout from Paddy Pimblet. Just seeing some of the highlights here. Lexi says, who is DKU? You've probably been asked this, but I wonder why Manny took this fight. Lexi, it's such a good question. My, my answer is going to make you laugh. I have no idea who DKU is. Apparently, he's a sort of YouTuber slash MMA fighter. Nobody seems to know. I'm assuming it's Manny Pacquiao's friend. That's the only reason I can think of. Let's see the finish here from Paddy Pimblet. How did it get done? How did it get done for Paddy Pimblet? Did Paddy get the win? What was the end of this fight? I'm not sure what the... I'm not sure we've even had the announcement yet. I'm not sure we've had the announcement yet in this fight. I'm just going to listen in very, very quietly. Give me one sec, guys. We're listening in here. Paddy Pimblet. I looked him up. He's just some guy in a gym, says Chris. Lex, he's loving it. We don't know. We're listening to the Paddy Pimblet result here. Who is going to win out of Paddy Pimblet? No idea even. No one knows. Nobody knows. Bruce Buffer has the answer. Who has won out of Paddy Pimblet? And his opponent, don't know his name. Three rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards. All three score it the same. 29-28. Winner by unanimous decision. Paddy the Paddy Pimblet has won. Paddy the Paddy Pimblet has won. Incredible stuff from him. Oh, they're talking to Sean Garcia here. They're talking to Sean Garcia here. Tio Lopez lost his fight. No. Oh, it isn't the decision yet, though. Should we switch over to that and see the decision for that one? Should we switch over to that and see the decision for that one? 
Oh, where's Tiofimo Lopez? We want to watch that as well. It's, oh, it's not on my list here, guys. I won't be able to tune in for that one. Oh, we can. Teofimo Lopez versus Sandor Martin. Let's listen on this one as well. If you are just joining us, smash that like button now. Subscribe if you're new. For me, Teofimo Lopez is the most overrated lightweight out of the big six. Tim Hall says yes. Did he actually lose again? Did he actually lose again? Chris says WTF. Did he lose? Let's see. Wait, I'm going to Google this. Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez. I don't think the results come out yet, guys. I don't think the results come out yet, guys. Interestingly enough, the result has not come out yet. I mean, Sean Garcia right now is saying a draw is better than a loss, but he was... Robbery, Gordon won that. So he's been robbed. He's been robbed, has he? Robbery, they stole the win from Gordon. Oh, no, surely not. Yeah, I've on my stream, I've just got up the stream, Lopez versus Martin. It's it's come up as a... It's advertisement break at the moment. It's an advertisement break at the moment. Yeah, Sean robbed, completely robbed there. You gotta feel sorry for him in some way. You have to feel sorry for him. We're even at 5,040 subscribers now. I really do thank you guys. It's gone a very, very long way. Fully appreciate it, my good friends. Fully appreciate it. Yeah, Lopez lost. Why am I on an advertisement break? Has it already been read out? Why am I on an advertisement break? Martin suffered broken... Okay, it's come up here. Let me give it a little listen. Wait, when it comes up, I'll give it a listen. Ricky gave us his scorecard. Thanks, Ricky. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you, Ricky, very, very much. Card's not out yet. Why is it taking so long, though? Why is it taking so long? By the way, 1,500 votes. 94% of people going for Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Ricky, they're trying to work out a way to give it to Tiafimo Lopez. Most overrated lightweight. Here we go, here we go. I'm listening in here on my phone. This is a crazy day of sport, guys, by the way. And also coming up is Hernandez versus Kim in this one. I'm going to have to multitask here. Let's multitask and get... Oh! <laughs> Let's multitask and get this set back up. Hernandez versus Kim. Okay. Let's try and get this up. Hernandez versus Kim. We're listening in to the Tiafimo Lopez card here. Hernandez versus Kim. The judges. We've got the judges scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds... Inside Madison Square Gardens, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Guido Cavalieri, 95-94. Martin. Martin takes the first card. Second one, 96-93. Lopez. 96-93, Lopez. Come on. The last judge, 97-92. Winner by split decision. And still. WBO International. So, it, so, it, so it's got to be Lopez then. I mean, sounds like it was a joke. Sounds like it was a joke. I mean, we're seeing Sandor Martin there. He's smiling. He's smiling. Tiafimo Lopez has won that fight. Teal gets killed by Ryan Progress, Taylor Zepeda, Haney Tank, everyone. And he got killed by George Cambos' junior, mate. Cambo, Cambo knocked him out, brother. Well, he didn't knock him out, but he took him all the way. Here we go. Coming into the ring now is Kim. Jay Young Kim. Wearing a very nice silver and gold robe. Here we go. 
Tiafimo Lopez is happy. Apparently, it was a bit of a robbery. Let me know, guys, what you think. I'm going to go on Twitter and see the reaction to that one, actually. I think it's worth going on Twitter and seeing the reaction to that one. Sorry, guys, I was just checking my emails there. Received a very annoying email from YouTube. YouTube gave me a community strike last night. Before I even went live, they've just assumed that my I'm I'm doing a fake live stream for the fight and they're not overturning the decision to give me a community guideline strike. So YouTube, if you're listening, F you. If you're listen I still want the monetization, so I'm not gonna say the word. But YouTube, if you're listening, go go F yourself. Yeah? Yeah, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching. Just don't take my channel down. But yeah, community guideline strike. How pathetic is that? Is next fight the main event? No, we got the co-main event between Hernandez. Oh, Sandor Martin and Tiafimo Lopez are arguing in the middle of the ring right now. They're arguing in the middle of the ring. 15 likes away from 150. 15 likes away from 150. Katambur TV says, Manny Pac-Man, legendary Philippines. I absolutely love it, mate. Shout out to all my Filipino brothers and sisters coming in and everyone else. Teal gets killed by Ryan. Ha, F you, YouTube, says Tim. I mean, it's pathetic, mate. If I get another community guideline strike now, because they haven't overturned that one from yesterday, my channel gets banned for a week. If you get three strikes... If you get three strikes, I'll get banned forever. So that, that's how serious this is. It, is. it isn't a joke. This is it's not my livelihood yet, but I'm trying I've worked help hours in all nighters over the past year, and YouTube want to take this away from me. It really is disgusting what they try and do to smaller channels. But if you type in Pacquiao versus DKU, look how many fake live streams there are. Look how many people are not giving commentary, who are not engaging with the chat. But YouTube just want to focus on those that are actually trying to put out good content. Here we go. Co-main event coming up next between Hernandez and Mr. Kim here. Here we go. Bell goes. Sorry, we didn't give much build up to that one because there was a lot going on. Lopez, Martin, Paddy the Baddy. It all seemed to happen at the same time. Here we go, though. The South Park stance of Hernandez. The orthodox of Kim. Kim lands a good right hand at the start of the first round. This is an eight-round bout, by the way. Big right hook there from Nico Hernandez. How long have we been streaming for now? Nearly four hours' time. Ricky says, Tio. Tio, Tio. Daylight come, man. We want to go home. Good left hook by Kim there. Good overhand right and then a little sneaky right hook from Nico Hernandez. Ji Young Kim drops his hands. Maybe just trying to bait Hernandez in a bit and then land a counter. Oh, stiff jab by Hernandez though. Oh, and then a good left hook by Hernandez. He started this round strong. Ooh, a leading left overhand there by Nico Hernandez. Just gets off balance a little bit. I was just a little bit concerned for him there. Just a little bit concerned for him. We love you, Manny. We do. We love you, Manny. We do. We love you, Manny. We do. Oh, Manny Pacquiao, we love you. We love you, Manny. We do. We love you, Manny. We do. We love you, Manny. We do. Oh, Pacquiao, we love you. This might be the most shambolic boxing card I've watched all there, though, folks. Let me know what you guys think. It's been a pretty shambolic one. Good one-two straight there by Kim and the, uh, sorry Hernandez. Then he lands to the body. Oh, a big overhand right there by Kim. And he might have hurt Hernandez a bit there. Hernandez seems to be okay, though. Pushes him away.
Oh, sweeping left hook there by Nico Hernandez. As we enter the business end of the first round. It's not been a passive first round by any means. These guys have enjoyed themselves in there. Kim steps forward. Nico Hernandez closes up with that high guard. Little sneaky straight left hand there from Nico. Nico Hernandez. Jae-Yung Kim comes forward. Straight right hand by Jae-Yung Kim. Hernandez steps back. Hernandez with a bit of a feint. Ooh, fast end to that round. I mean, I will have that edging ever so slightly towards Nico Hernandez. Although we know what can happen. Anything can happen in this card. Absolutely anything can happen in this card now. Nothing would surprise me. Absolutely nothing would surprise me. That's BS. My daughter does Twitch for a living and trolls try to get her canned by making fake complaints. That is trying to take someone's job. Yeah, exactly, Tim. Exactly, Tim. And, um, you know, sad to hear about that happening to your daughter as well. It, it, it is a joke, man. It is a joke. Look, you could even do it in a cynical way. I had, I had a stream once that there was no connection issues. It suddenly dropped to zero concurrence. And I feel like, I honestly feel like someone was trying to jeopardize my channel. Like they just put in a complaint and then YouTube like quickly check and then realize it's okay and then get it back up. Wait, is this your job? No, it's not my job, mate. That's why I said it's not my my livelihood. It's what I want to be my livelihood. I wish it was my job, but nowhere near that stage yet. Maybe one day in the future, if YouTube don't ban me anyway. Left hook there by Nico Hernandez. Straight left hand by Nico Hernandez. Straight right hand by Kim. I feel like we're kind of just laboring towards the main event now not gonna lie guys i don't really care about this fight they, they they put too many fights on this card to be honest with you i mean we're getting our money's worth at least but i would have liked them to just i don't know just make it quicker to be pacquiao just give us pacquiao quicker please please anyway back to the fight i'll stop complaining Nico Hernandez steps forward. I mean, not a single punch thrown in the last 15 seconds. Well, good body work by Kim, though, and then Nico Hernandez lands a counter combination. Jayon Kim steps forward with that jab. Nico Hernandez not loading up right now. Oh, good one, two, and then followed up with a left hook, though. Good work by Nico Hernandez. Jab by Nico Hernandez. So Stiff straight right hand by Kim, though. Oh, overhand right by Kim this time. Been a relatively even round, this one. I feel it could go either way. With a minute to go, it's there for the taking. Nico comes forward. L card. This Bivol card is better than it. Oh, God. The Bivol card was bad, man. The Bivol card was bad. Gabriel, is Pacquiao about to start? No. We are on the penultimate fight. We have got seven, six or seven rounds in this fight, and then we will be on Pacquiao. Finally, we'll be on Pacquiao then. Oh, good one, two, three from Nico there. I feel he is taking over in this round. I'm going to edge it towards him. Body work by Nico, and then a left hook that lands straight on the temple. That was torture, Zanderzilla. That was really torture. It was so long, so boring. Did we have a single knockout? Xander Zillow, if I remember correctly, we didn't have a single knockout. At least this one's been somewhat exciting. Oh, overhand right, left hook. Yeah, Kim is retreating backwards. These body shots from Nico Hernandez are causing damage to Kim. He throws another and then a straight right hand. We might get a finish right here, right now. But Kim lands a right hand and Nico's hurt. And that's the end of the round. What an end to that round that was. Nico Hernandez takes it, but I think Nico Hernandez was out on his feet there. See more, I think this card has been spec. No, it has been interesting, to be fair. It's just not really been the highest quality sort of 
putting together of, of, of the event, if that makes sense. Like, there's been some questionable decisions. Very questionable decisions indeed. Who won, Sean Garcia or Lil? It was a draw. 98 CD. Let's talk about that because it was ridiculous. It was originally given as a victory for his opponent, which was a robbery because I had Sean Garcia winning three rounds out of the four. And then they overturned it, but not to be a Sean Garcia win, to be a draw. So Sean Garcia drew. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Robbery. Here we go. Bell goes at the start of the third round. If you're just joining us, 14 likes away from 150. Hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out. That's a really good right hand there by Nico Hernandez. But he needs to be wary of the power of Jae Young Kim. They tied up in the clinch in the center of the ring. A couple of rabbit punches by Nico Hernandez. Oh, good work by Hernandez. Really good head movement as Jaehyun Kim tries to throw a straight one-two combination. Good work to the body there by Nico Hernandez. Jab by Hernandez. Straight right to the body. Left hook. Couple of left hooks, actually. I mean, the commentary I listen to is horrifically biased. I mean, Nico Hernandez is doing a good job, but they're, they're talking about him like he's Jesus Christ reincarnated. And, and we know he's not because we know Manny Pacquiao is Jesus Christ reincarnated. Oh, big left hook there by Nico Hernandez. And Kim's rocked. Body work by Hernandez. Maybe he is Jesus Christ reincarnated. Left hook, right hook, straight left, overhand right. Oh, stiff little short jab there by Hernandez and... Kim is taking some damage. He's got a hell of a chin, actually. He's got a hell of a chin. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. You have to give him full credit here. He's doing a fantastic job defensively, but his chin is wide open there. And Hernandez taking full advantage of it at the moment in this third round. Hernandez left hook. Straight left by Kim. Huge overhand left by Hernandez that time and then followed up by the jab off that southpaw stance. One, two, right hook. Oh, and Kim's overreaching there with the right hand and he's opening himself up. It's just silly. Don't overreach like that. Get yourself on the inside. I don't know. I keep switching from streams from slim reacting to UFC 282 to this stream waiting right to the main event. Appreciate that, Zanderzilla. If you could put me on the, a, a similar pecking field with Slim, then thank you so much. How right a spectacle can be a great many things. Exactly. Kim pushes Hernandez back to the ropes. Hernandez bounces off the ropes. Uppercut. Body shot. Left hook by Hernandez. He's, he's showing a lot of craftsmanship here. Tim Hall says draw. Let's see. Hernandez goes upstairs and downstairs. Again, a left hook that lands clean. This has been a significant round. Shout out, Jim Boy. Jim Boy Napoles coming in. Thanks for coming in, Jim Boy. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you very much. And that is the end of the third. It's another round for Nico Hernandez. That's probably been the most significant round of the fight so far. But let's not hold our breath on this one because we know what happened. <laughs> we know what's happened throughout this card. We've had a bunch of robberies. But Nico Hernandez really dominating. Jay Young Kim here. There's no possible way they can call this any of these rounds for Jay Young Kim. I can't believe that Tommy Fury rigged his fight. Did he? Did he rig his fight? I haven't seen, what, what what happened? What what Where have you seen that, mate? Where have you seen that? I didn't hear about that. I could do a little Google of Tommy Fury. Maybe we should just do a little Google. Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury. It's not anything coming up in the news. Here we go. Fourth round. We're nearly at the midway point. Yes, he rigged his exhibition. What is the source for this information, my friend? What is the source for this information? Let's kick on news. We've got Joe Torres coming in saying Pacquiao. Welcome, Joe. Welcome, Joe. Yeah, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. There's nothing in the news about that. 
I, I don't I don't think that's true. Um, I think that's a little bit of misinformation there. Kim steps forward, trying to be a bit more of an aggressor. A secret recording was found in YouTube. For that sounds like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> that just said, oh, good left hook there by Nico Hernandez. Jae Young Kim steps forward. He goes to the body and then a left hook. Sweeping right hook. Oh, and then a right hook by Jae Young Kim. A headlock from Nico Hernandez. Hernandez just getting a bit more life into those legs here. A little bit more life into those legs. Look in Full Motions video. Like the channel was called Full Motions. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll, it, it sounds like a bit of a conspiracy theory to me. <laughs> Sorry to say. I, d I, don't, I don't trust it. I don't, it just sounds dodgy. Oh, big body shot by Nico Hernandez. But Kim landed a little left hook there. Minute and a half to go in round four. It's been a more even one than the last round, that's for sure. Or oh, straight left hand there from Nico Hernandez. Okay, fine. You don't have to. I don't know what that is. I'm an old timer. Tim's an old timer. He loves it. He loves it. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me though, Xander Zilla. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me. One minute to go in this round. I feel this round's there for the taking, actually. If Kim lets his hands go, he could take it, but... Right now, Hernandez is the one who's more accurate. He's the one landing more punches. And Kim not really loading up right now. He's been a bit passive so far in this fight for me. Maybe he's just wary of the craftsmanship and the ability to land clean by Nico Hernandez, though. He's, you know, when you're getting tagged on the chin, it's less likely that you're going to go forward and try and land. It's good left hook and a straight right by Kim there, though. Sweeping left to the body by Hernandez. Kim steps forward again. Double jab and then a straight right. Good head movement by Kim, though. You, you can't put links in this chat anyway, mate. YouTube just auto-block uh, it. Any links you put in, YouTube auto-block it. Oh, good left hook there by Hernandez. Good body work by Kim, though. Head movement by Hernandez. And then he goes body with the right hook. Upstairs with the left hook. And Nico Hernandez takes that round just for me. The judges might edge it towards Kim, but... I'm going to score it how I'm seeing it and give it as a Nico Hernandez round. <laughs> Lame, says Tim Hall. Lame indeed. Lame indeed. As we enter the fifth round in this fight, it's a bit of a shutout, this one. Not the best co-main event we could have hoped for, but... An interesting one, all the same. And Nico Hernandez doing his job at the end of the day. Guys, let me know in the chat, where are you watching from tonight? I would love to know which country and city you are watching from. Let me know in the live chat. 10 likes away from 150. Here we go. Fifth round, midway point of this co-main event. Here we go. Bell goes. I feel Kim needs to be a bit more aggressive, though. He's been very passive, and it's just allowed Nico Hernandez the time and the space to choose his shots uh, to his to, to his to his pleasing. Good one-two there by Kim at the start of this round. He tries to cut off the ring and get Nico Hernandez in the corner. Well, they said since it's an exhibition, the coaches told the opponent before the fight to fight like it's a spa. Well, to be fair, that's not fixing. That's just what that's what an exhibition fight pretty much is, mate. That's like saying that's like saying the Floyd Mayweather fight uh, against Deji was fixed because Floyd basically did what he wanted to do, and Deji could like it's not a fix. It's just that's what exhibitions are, mate. Exhibitions are not under any professional body, so you can do the fights whatever way you want them to be. And an exhibition is supposed to be a spa, to be fair. They step in. They clinch. Alexi's from Oslo, Norway. Love that. 
as I already know, but thank you for the reminder. I do need to get myself to Oslo one day. Yeah, but he was in it. All right. Sorry, Sander. I'm gonna be. Get, I'm gonna get a bit funny with you. If it's an exhibition, people do do that. That's quite common in boxing. It's an exit. The problem is, is that it was on a pay per view card, so the fans don't want to see that. But ultimately, the fans have paid, have paid to see an exhibition fight, so you should expect not to see anything but a light spar in an exhibition. Fair enough. We'd hope that they would have gone for it like it was a pro fight, but it was an exhibition at the end of the day. That's what happens. We saw it with uh, Ricky Hatton um, and Barrera. They said before, well, we're not going to knock each other out, but we'll, we'll go for it. A couple of right hooks in the clinch there from Nico Hernandez. Minute to go in this round. Let's go, gamers. Yeah, I kind of wish they got... Yeah, me too, me, mate. Me too, man. We're in the same camp. We're in the same camp. But it doesn't surprise me is what I'm saying, buddy. Um, especially, well, the thing, the only thing I will say is it makes Fury look like an idiot because it makes Fury look like an idiot because Fury's bigging out saying, oh, I got in there with an Asian champion. But bro, if you get in there with an Asian champion and that champion's not trying to knock you out, then what's the point? You might as well have not fought. Straight right hand by Kim back to this fight. There were 10 seconds to go. This is quite a tight round, which I'm probably going to edge towards Kim, actually. Probably edge it towards Kim. Nico comes forward, and that is the end of the fifth round. And we'll give it to... We'll call him JK. Call him JK. Seattle, Washington, USA. Gabriel, thanks for coming in. Tim says Apollo versus Drago was supposed to be an exit. It was. It was. That's a good point, man. But even Drago, Ivan Drago is a man that you get in the room with him. He's going to try and knock you out, even if he's not a real person. Is it all 12 rounds? No, I think it will be eight rounds, mate, I imagine. I imagine it will be six or eight rounds. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'll let you know as soon as it gets going. Let you know as soon as it gets going. Here we go for the sixth round. The business end of this fight. Three rounds to go. Will we get a knockout win or will we trundle on to the judges' scorecards yet again? <laughs> oh, God. Bell goes. The bell goes. Nico Hernandez is in control there. I gave Jay Young Kim the last round, but ultimately, Nico Hernandez has kind of had everything his own way here. Straight left hand there by Hernandez. Oh, good work there by Jay Young Kim. One, two, three combination straight down the dome. I wait, the opponent that Tommy was told to fight was told to take it easy like a spa since the opponent was apparently sore. I mean, if you don't believe me, you have to. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm saying. That is what happens in exhibition fights. And it happens more than you probably think. It was an exhibition. It's, it, it, there, there is no rules and regulations about fixing it or anything like that. Straight right and then a left hand there from Kim as he drops his hands. He seems to have a bit of a problem with his shorts here, Kim. He keeps having to pull them up. Which is a little bit frustration for him. Oh, a big right hook there. By Kim. And then one from Hernandez. They're slugging it out right now. And Nico Hernandez doesn't want to get in a slugfest with this guy. He needs to keep it as it was in the first few rounds. And that's sitting out of range and just bang, bang, laser punches. Sniper rifles down the dome. Really good work from Kim there on the ropes. And again, Hernandez comes forward. I'm going to be interested to hear what the judges' scorecards actually are for this fight. I've got a feeling they're going to be swinging towards the man from South Korea. But, but what do I know? What do I know? We've hit 5,053 subscribers. Maybe, just maybe, we can get to 5,100 before the end of the day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you're new around here. Get yourself in the comments. Get yourselves involved. Fury shouldn't be fighting exhibitions. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to. Oh, good one-two combination by Kim there. And then a 
Counter left hand by Hernandez. Yeah, I, I don't like Tommy Fury. I don't like him. I'm a big Tyson Fury fan, but Tommy's not someone I like. Left hook by Hernandez. 1-2 by Kim. I feel again the judges will edge towards Kim in this round. Or oh, stiffed. Left there by Hernandez as Kim was off balance. Needs to be careful because if you're off balance and you get tagged, you'll be on the canvas quicker than you can say. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Which is not that quick, actually. I said that quite slowly, to be fair. <laughs> I just chat a load of waffle, don't I? I? I just do chat a load of waffle, don't I? Sorry, guys. Oh, stiff left hand there by... Hernandez, and then ooh, they stare each other down at the end of the round. Uh, now, nah, probably will give it to Nico Hernandez. Let's stop giving too much, too much respect to Jay Young Kim here. He's swinging for the hill. It was some good work by Jay Young Kim, but Hernandez is probably outlanding him, and he's doing it in less punches. So, two rounds to go. Yeah, he just used his name, basically renting it because if he loses to Jake, he'll be named Tommy Fumbles. Yeah, we'll see, Matt personally right if fury takes that fight seriously and he puts in the work he works with his dad john fury works with his brother i think fury can win that fight because boxing technical boxing ability wise fury is better than jake paul but the problem is i don't think tommy fury has that desire has that work for it. And jake paul is someone that will be in the gym like a madman like a madman so i'd probably have my money on jake paul yeah tim yeah here we go, seventh round, penultimate round, and then we are finally at the main event between Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and our guy, uh, what's his name again? DKU. DKU. We'll see. He's there. He's there on the bottom right-hand corner. Good work by Kim at the start of the round. Yeah, sorry, my commentary hasn't been the best on this fight, but we're kind of just waiting patiently uh, to, get to, the, to get to the main event now. Oh, good left hand by Hernandez. I don't think Tommy wouldn't work that hard. I think he will. I think it would be an easy fight, so wouldn't train as hard. So you think Tommy takes it, do you? Good overhand right by Hernandez. Lands really clean there. Couple of rabbit punches by Hernandez in the clinch. Another jab by Hernandez. One, two, followed up by a left hook by Hernandez. Kim hasn't really got a response when he gets into his flow in terms of combinations, Nico Hernandez. Do, 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 do. Have we got anyone from the Philippines in the chat? Let me know. Good body work by Hernandez again. Interestingly, Hernandez is not loading up to the body nearly as much as he was in the earlier rounds. Um... He's still doing well. He's, he's going upstairs a lot more now. We see it there. He lands with a straight right hand right through the middle. He'll even probably try and say, I didn't even train for the fight if he loses. Probably. Probably. Upstairs and downstairs from Nico Hernandez. Then a big left hook. Yes, Tim. I'm glad we're on the same page, buddy. A couple of right hooks. To be fair to Kim, he's taken a lot, a lot of damage and pressure in this fight. And he's still in there in the seventh round. So I give him full credit for that. Sticking in there, taking a lot of damage. Um, he's got a good chin, this guy. He's got a good chin. A very good chin indeed. I've got a good chin, I'd say. Overhand right there from Kim. Nico Hernandez comes back with a left hook, right hook combination. Jab by Jayun Kim. Oh, a couple of left hooks there to the body. 30 seconds to go in this round. Probably have a go at Nico Hernandez again, to be honest. This is a bit of a shutout, this one. I would want to see JJ versus Tommy first to see if he's even worthy to fight. J yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I, I think Tommy Fury beats KSI quite quite easily ksi is not a good boxer I'm, I'm sorry i know there's a lot of ksi fans that really back him no matter what but ksi is not a good boxer he's he's good at selling his fights and that is the end of the seventh round got it going nico hernandez again got it going nico hernandez again there's a bit of a, a skill discrepancy here 
because Jay Young Kim is not of the races here. As we enter the final round, guys, let me know who you think is going to win this fight based on either my commentary or I'm assuming some of you are watching the fight as well. And also let me know for the main event, are we going with hashtag Pac-Man or hashtag DKU? Let me know in the live chat right about now. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. 10 likes away from 150 and 46 subscribers away from 5.1k. What an incredible achievement that is already. Uh, big yourselves up, my good people. As we enter the final round in this bout, let's go. I mean, I completely agree, and that's why I want to show... Ah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, I, I... I think Tommy, in terms of pure boxing skill, is easily better than both of them. It's just whether he's got the work rate. But KSI, I just don't think he has enough skill at all to hold a candle to Tommy Fury. Look, I could be proven wrong, but I don't think so. I, I think that's a stretch too far. Good one too there by Kim. He started this round well, and I think he knows that he has to go for it. Will we get another robbery here, by the way, guys? We could get another robbery. <laughs> is, is there potential for a robbery on the cards? I hope not, but it could happen. It could happen. Nico Hernandez steps forward. Little flinch from him. One, two straight from Jae Young Kim here. Yeah, both commentators have it every round to Nico Hernandez. I've given one to Kim. Xander Zilla, I, I kind of agree, mate. I, 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 so I don't. So here's my deal with this. I want Jake Paul to lose a boxing match. But I don't necessarily want it to be against KSI. I'd rather someone more humble beat Jake Paul. Because it's kind of the lesser of two evils. Cassandra Ganti is in with the dot dot. Thanks for coming in, Cassandra, with your dot dot. I'd rather someone more humble beat Jake. Because at least then it feels like a win. If, if KSI beats him, it's just like, oh, he's going to be the most arrogant guy in the world now. Minute and a half to go in this fight. Overhand right by Kim. Nico Hernandez with an overhand. Body work by Kim. It's turning into a slugfest the last minute of this fight. Straight right hand. Left hook by Kim. Left hook by Hernandez. Uppercut by Hernandez. He might take out Kim here. Right hook. Kim Kim's chin is incredible. The crimson chin, Jae Young Kim, keeps himself in the fight somehow. Jab, straight right hand, body work by Hernandez, uppercut by Hernandez. As Jae Young Kim ducks his head down, needs to be careful, he'll get tagged if he continues to do that. Yeah, you have to give respect to Nico Hernandez, he's completely dismantled Jae Young Kim for the large majority of this fight. Nico Hernandez steps forward again. Oh, good pivot there by Jae Young Kim to get Hernandez on the ropes. But Hernandez just comes forward. Body work, left hook, right hook. It's just too easy for him. It's just too easy for him. I like Paul at this point. Only a real boxer can beat him. He's putting in real work. Yeah, he's, got, he's hard working. Oh, they slug it out the end of the fight. And that is the end of the fight. Nico Hernandez slaps his chest. And Nico Hernandez has surely won this fight as we go to the judges' scorecards. Are they just going to turn it into an exhibition? Are they going to turn it into an exhibition, maybe? They might do. They might do. Imagine, imagine if they do. I, I hope not, man. Come on. Surely, surely Nico Hernandez has won this fight. Surely. It can't go any other way, can it? Imagine if it does. Imagine if it does. Should I refresh my stream so it's as up to date as humanly possible? It, it's got to be an Eco Hernandez with this. And by the way, that means next up is the main event. Highly England lost Kane. I know, man. Don't remind me, please. Thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate you coming in, but please don't remind me. It is distressing. It is terrible. Career with another W, says Ricky. Surely not. 
Yeah, unfortunately England lost. I'm still crying about it. I mean, I will say I thought the referee in the in the match between England and France was an absolute disgrace. I thought it was disgusting, to be honest. I know we got two penalties, just about. It took him every fibre of his being to be able to give it as we go to the judges' scorecards here. Let's go. It's taken a while. That, that concerns me. That concerns me. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Why is it taking this long, guys? Please. Please don't be a robbery. Please don't be a robbery. <laughs> the commentator saying there's no way it's 7-1. to one. I mean, I had it 7-1. to one. But I've given the benefit of the doubt here, I guess. I've given a bit of a benefit of the doubt to uh, Jayon Kim. This is taking a very long time to get the results, guys. Who wins Croatia or Argentina? I'm going to have Argentina winning it. Here we go. Winner by unanimous decision. Nico Hernandez. We finally got a good decision on this card. Big up Nico Hernandez. He thoroughly deserved that. Commiserations to Jay Young Kim. I'm going to go for a quick toilet break, guys. I'll be back in just a moment, yeah? I'll be back in just a moment. It's the main event next. Do not go anywhere. Be right back. The next fight, Daniel Perez is Manny Pacquiao versus DKU. The Pac-Man is back. Let's get hyped. Come on. Manny Pacquiao is back. Get your predictions in the live chat now. Who have you got winning between Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and DKU? I mean, if you've got DKU, I've got one thing to say to you. You've either been smoking grass or you're completely delusional. The main event is up next. That is correct. So let's reset everything on the screen. Main event up next. Let's reset the scorecard. Let's go. Let's reset that as well. 
Thank you all so much for joining me today. Four and a half hours of streaming. There's been so much going on. We were checking the Paddy Pimblet result. Got to be Manny, but I'd love to see DK win some liquidator freaks out. Daniel says Manny winning, of course. Get yourselves in the live chat. Hashtag Manny or hashtag DKU. Who are you guys going for today? Gabriel says Pac-Man because I got that Filipino blood in me. Love that, man. Love that. Big up. I live in Singapore, so um yeah always big up my fellow southeast asian brothers and sisters appreciate you guys coming in we are nine likes away from 150 i think if we can get there before the end of the entire stream that would be phenomenal um and i just thank you guys so much today because uh it's been a tough one given the context of england losing but but i feel much better thanks to you guys so i really do appreciate it my good friends here we go the pac-man is back next up manny pacquiao versus dku manny pacquiao versus dku coming up next folks it's gonna be lively it's gonna be lively and i cannot wait for it hopefully you guys are buzzing as well one sec guys i just need to do something on stream One sec, guys. Sorry. I mean, Pacquiao was just the greatest. He's just the greatest. Not necessarily the best ever, you know. He lost fights for sure. However, he is one of those that would just never back down from a fight. He'd keep going, you know. Even against Ugas last year. But Dennis Ugas recently had a fight against Errol Spence Jr. of all people. And Manny Pacquiao went all 12 rounds with him. In the end, Ugas got the victory. But Pacquiao is someone that is still at a very good level. Which is why I'm surprised he's fighting someone like DKU. Pacquiao is someone that could still beat people at professional level. And I'm talking top, top welterweights. I'm talking top welterweights. Top welterweights, top lightweights. Manny Pacquiao has still got a lot to give to this sport, even at 43 years of age. So I hope and I pray that he feels good today. He gets the bug again and he says, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm coming back to the professional ranks. And maybe, just maybe, we will get a fight. Maybe we'll get a fight between him against either Terence Crawford, who we saw knock out David Avenision earlier today. Maybe him. Maybe Against Errol Spence Jr., who knows? But Manny Pacquiao is back. Manny Pacquiao is back. Let's go. Hey. Well, there's a bit of a tune playing in the background here. 43 years old. He is nearly 44, by the way. It's his birthday next week, so maybe this is a bit of a birthday event for him. Just getting things going for his birthday. Let's have a look at his record, though. His last four fights by the way he won three out of four the last one coming against ugas as just mentioned uh which was a i think it was a unanimous decision loss ugas did piece him up to be fair he did piece him up um you have to say that but then before that he beat keith one time thurman of all people adrian broner as well and lucas matisse he has fights against floyd mayweather jr juan manuel, juan manuel marquez some of those fights against Ma Juan Manuel Marquez, I can never say his name, were incredible. Um, it's just it, against Barrera, of course. Oscar De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton, Miguel Cotto, Eric Morales, Hector Velazquez. He really has fought everyone. He really has fought everyone. And I think that's why part of him, he's thinking, Do you know what? I want to go and fight Errol Spence Jr. I want to fight Crawford because... He doesn't care if he loses. He just wants to be known as the guy that would go out and fight everyone and anyone. I forgot about the Broner fight. Not gonna, yeah, it was a bit of a dead squib, you know. Both both men pretty old. Both coming to the ends of their career. Um, but it was a win. It was a win all the same. And Pacquiao just loves to challenge himself. He doesn't care who he's coming up against. He'll challenge himself. He'll put his name in the hat to fight anyone and everyone. Anyone and everyone. He has fought so many people, I swear. Exactly, man. Exactly. And that's one thing. Look, Floyd Money Mayweather, pretty boy Floyd, 50 and 0. I get it. It's an incredible achievement. But for me, for me, is, is it really an achievement when you duck a lot of fighters? 
who did Floyd really fight? It was at the top, top level. Apart from Pacquiao, I think yeah, Broner as well. Um, Marcus Medina, of course. Apart from that, I don't know. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of bums on his record, Floyd. I'm not completely taking away anything from him. He's 50 and 0. He is the best ever, but he, I suppose he did fight. <laughs> I'm looking at it now, actually. He does have some good fights. <laughs> All right, I take it back. I just had a look. Cotto, Guerrero, Canelo, Juan Manuel Marquez. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm just going to shut up before I make myself look even more foolish. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Boomer's the greatest of making money, not boxing. Young Canelo, says Daniel. Yeah, I'm just going to shut up. I forgot about a lot of his fights, to be honest. By the way, DKU has got a significant physical advantage on Pacquiao here. Five foot inch height advantage, and I'm assuming a reach advantage as well. Yeah, I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. Look, I I'm happy to admit when I'm wrong. And I was definitely wrong there. Uh, look, look, people still do say that, though. It's not just me making that opinion. People do say that Floyd pick and chose his fights. But if you actually look at his record, I think I've been humbled a bit by his record. He he's fought some good people. Ricky Hatton, no less. One of the kings of English boxing. Here we go. Up next, it is the main event between Manny Pacquiao and DK. They're calling him a martial arts sensation. Is he a martial arts sensation? I'm really not sure he is a martial arts sensation. Here we go, though. Manny Pacquiao is back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Manny Pacquiao is coming back. He is here. The idol, Manny Pacquiao. Daniel Perez says, yes, 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 here we go. Who have you got winning this fight? Let me know in the comments. DKU or Manny Pacquiao. We've got Roland in saying, yes. Never really heard of DK. Here we go. Mate, this announcer is the worst announcer I've ever heard in my life. He just said, let's get in. Newest subscriber white right here. Thank you, SAD. Or SAD, maybe I'll call you. Thank you so much, brother. We are 36 subscribers away from 5,100, and you are one of them. I hope you're having a fantastic day, my friend. Thank you, Roland. Thank you, SAD. Thank you, Daniel. Get yourselves in. Get yourselves predictions. When do you think this gets done? Make it his ring walk, though. First up, it is DKU. DKU makes his ring walk. He's a martial arts expert, so he's not actually a martial artist then. <laughs> he's a martial arts expert, creator of some sort of warfare. Uh, so he's just a businessman. So you can start now, please. Well, I'll be just doing the commentary, my good friends. I will not be showing the fight on here due to copyright restrictions. But please do smash that like button as DKU makes his ring walk. Here he comes. Ooh. He is wearing the red robe. And he is looking like a man out for blood red on his robe maybe red on his skin as well when he lands on mr manny pacquiao the south korean martial arts maniac the disgustingly decisive and direct dku making his ring walk to a dramatic sound let's see if theoretical knowledge on martial arts can give you any chance against one of the greatest of all time in boxing, I don't think it can. SAD says, Pac-Man. Get yourselves in the live chat. Let me know where you are watching from today. Like the video. Six likes away from 150. Smash it now. Smash it now. DKU. The social media mogul. The martial arts man, DKU. Will he do it? Will he cause a shock? Xander Zilla says, Logan Paul is back in training. So he's over his injury already. Incredible. It's incredible what steroids can do. <laughs> I mean, he does look a bit old, DKU. I will, I will say that. 
And now, making his ring walk. He is back. 12 world titles in 26 years. From the Philippines. The hero, the idol, the legend. The greatest ever, arguably. From the Philippines, it is Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Here he comes. A record of 62 wins, 8. Oh, I think it's only 3 losses, actually. I think I've got that wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, they've got that wrong. It's 8 losses and 2 draws. So, the people announcing it got that one wrong. Here we go. The Pac-Man is back. 62 wins, 8 losses, 2 draws. 39 of those wins coming by way of knockout. That's his 76 percent knockout ratio he stands at five foot five and has a reach of 67 inches as we all know he fights in southpaw he is the pac-man manny pacquiao his opponent dku with a phenomenal record of zero wins zero losses and zero knockouts that is a ratio of zero percent his reach is unknown but we do know he has a five foot Inch height advantage, DKU, the martial arts expert who's never had a professional fight in his life. So how much of an expert can you be? The 43-year-old Pac-Man coming up against the 42-year-old DKU. It is trying for drama. The greatest ever. Who knows what he did in boxing from weight to weight class. Never been done before. Pac-Man is here. He makes his ring walk. He is wearing the red and gold robe. His last fight was last year in in August 2021 against your Dennis Ugas. It was a unanimous decision loss. But Ugas is a tough, tough fighter. And he's just coming off of a fight against Errol Spence Jr. No less. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Manny Pacquiao is back. Manny Pacquiao is back. Let's go. Come on. He's in the ring. The Filipino flag is being waved in the ring. DKU is 43 as well, actually. 43 as well. That is incredible. How has he managed to get himself this fight? Do any of you guys actually know DKU before this fight? I, I never heard of him in my life. Manny Pacquiao stares him down with a wry smile. Lexi says, Manny! The Pac-Man is here. Is he going to go for the early knockout? Or is he going to toy with DKU? Or is DKU going to somehow get some sort of incredible victory? I cannot personally see it. But you never know. You never, ever know. He's a politician now, Manny. But he's doing it today for his country, for the Philippines. But can DKU in South Korea get an incredible, incredible upset? The main event is here. Get your predictions in the live chat. Hashtag DK or hashtag Pac-Man. I want to see your predictions. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. The main event is here. Pacquiao with a prayer in the corner of the ring. Here we go. The purse that Manny Pacquiao takes to this fight will be going... Uh... To charity. Sorry, I just got a bit distracted there. My friend's texting me at the worst possible time. <laughs> Leave me alone. Here we go. Manu. Finally, we are here for the main event. We've been streaming now for nearly five hours. UFC 282 main event was a draw if you wanted to know. Thank you, Zanazila. I did want to know. So thank you very much, mate. Master of the Korean martial art. I don't understand how you could be a master of martial arts if you've never had a professional fight. I saw Manny in one of the f uh, flights I took and was able to touch him. And it was like touching a rock. How was you able to touch him? <laughs> DKU raises his arms in the center of the ring. Will he be raising them at the end of the fight? I am not so sure. And the legend of boxing, his opponent... 
the Filipino maestro, the Filipino destroyer. One of the best ever, if not the best ever. It is Manny, Pac-Man, Pacquiao. Here we go. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boy. I just want to see... I would honestly just love Pacquiao to knock this guy out in the first round. I hate all these fakos, the ones that think they're, they're fighters, but they're, they're actually not. They just do Instagram videos on pads. I want Pacquiao to show who the big dog is. But let's see what happens. DKU versus Pacquiao. Moments away. Are we going to have national anthems here? I'm not so sure. We might do. Are we going to have national anthems? It's all gone a bit quiet. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Here we go. Manny Pacquiao receiving some Vaseline on his chest and abs. I mean, he's still in fantastic shape, even at 43 years old. Dare I say it? Should we have an exhibition between Money Mayweather and Pacquiao next? Why the heck not? Here we go, says Xander Zilla. Gabriel says, hashtag Pacquiao. The main event is here, and I, for one, cannot freaking wait. Man, he's never thought of this weight. I'm not sure what weight they're even fighting at because they haven't told us. Fantastic coverage from Triller Fight Club. <laughs> Letting us up to date with all the information as always. Here we go. Come on. Manny. Du, du, du. Manny. Du, du, du. Okay. I think we're moments away now. Manny Pacquiao live streamed before his fight. Did he? He moved past us and Manny's so snob. He allows people to get near him. Wow. He's an amazing guy. I hear he's one of the nicest guys out there. They're in the center of the ring. The referee is speaking to them right now. Jiang Sung Kim, the referee today. You can see that height advantage there. You can see that height advantage for DKU. Will he be able to take advantage of that advantage? Or will it just be another number, another bit of hope for him? The whistle blows. We are seconds out. Here we go. Yeah, I understand. The fight gets going. Two minute rounds, sorry. I'll just change that quickly now. Two minute rounds. DKU with that southpaw stance. Manny Pacquiao with that signature southpaw stance. Jab from both fighters at the start of the round. I mean, DKU looks pretty technical right now with that jab. But it's when you're on the inside. It's when you're in a dog fight. That's when you prove if you can fight. Not when you're in the outside going. Pacquiao comes forward. Pacquiao with the blue gloves and the white shorts. DKU with the red gloves and the red shorts. Jab from DKU. Manny hasn't really done a whole lot in this first round so far. This is a six-round bout, by the way. Apologies for the language and typo it. No worries. That doesn't matter at all. That does not matter at all. Couple of jabs by DKU, jab by Pacquiao. It's been a very passive start to this fight. Pacquiao hasn't exited first gear yet as he tries to cut off the ring and get the big man DKU in the corner, but DKU jabs his way to the center of the ring. I wonder how Deji would get on today. Another jab from Pacquiao. Oh, and Pacquiao lands to the body. The first significant blows of the fight so far. And then a good jab from Pacquiao. Good straight left, though, the, from DKU. DKU gets back on that jab. Will he be able to... If he can, lean on Pacquiao. Wear Pacquiao down. They're both 43 years old, though. Hang about. The referee stepped in here. Not sure why. Why did the referee step in there? Why did the referee step in there? That was bizarre. Pacquiao starts to do a little jog. Just get some life into those legs. He comes forward. Lands to the body. Bit of a low blow there from Pacquiao. And that's the end of the first round. I mean, we'll give it to Manny. That's got to be a Manny Pacquiao round. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao suddenly started to come forward with high knees. High knees there from Manny Pacquiao. Very good stuff from Manny there. As we enter the second round, I mean, 
with a bit of a passive start. We've waited all this time and they didn't really come out flying. By the way, we have hit 200 likes. Thank you so much, people. It's absolutely incredible the support and love you've given me on this stream and all the other ones as well. Thank you all so, so much. I mean, so far, DKU's jab looks okay. But one, there's not a lot of power. Two, it feels like he only has the jab. I'd say it was pretty close. Not really. Not really. Well, it was close for sure because they didn't throw a lot. But uh, I mean, I've watched a lot of boxing in my time and that's definitely a Pacquiao round. He, he landed to the body. He he outlanded DKU there. DKU, for a lot of those jabs, aren't even landing. DKU gets back on that jab at the start of the second round. Most of those jabs from DKU aren't landing. They aren't landing. Elma Valdez says, what? Hello. <laughs> what, what? He's getting on that jab. Yeah, if he loads up on that jab more and throws it, like, frequently, for sure, he can probably outland Manny. But if he does that, then Manny's just going to go to the body. So it's a lose-lose situation for DKU. Manny comes forward with a jab to the body. Bit of a passive stance this round. All it's really been is DKU jabbing and... Oh, sorry. Just need to get it on to two minutes again. Sorry, guys. I keep forgetting about that. Straight left. Just miss out. Oh, big right hand by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Pacquiao lands well there. And every time there's a power punch landed, it's coming off the gloves of Pacquiao right now. And for me, I'm disappointed with DKU. He hasn't, he hasn't thrown anything apart from that jab. It's catch weight. Oh. Well, catch weight just means they're both not of the same weight. So I guess I don't know what weight Pacquiao's walking around at. Six rounds, mate. Six rounds. Jab from DKU. DKU steps forward and Pacquiao again to the body. Pacquiao pushes him backwards with his jab. Uppercut from Pacquiao. Body work from Pacquiao. DKU holds on. DKU's already breathing heavily out of his mouth here, by the way. Already breathing hev heavily out of his mouth. Pacquiao steps forward with that overhand left lands. Grazes the chin of DKU. DKU needs to be wary that Pacquiao, though he's a smaller man, he, he packs a lot of punch. He packs a lot of punch. End of the second. I mean, I'd probably give that I'd probably give that as another Mali Pacquiao round. I mean, he's landed more power punches. All DKU's doing is throwing jabs. And I, I just don't get it. For me, right, if I was in, in the ring with Mali Pacquiao, I'd just risk it all. Go for the knockout. Even if it means you get knocked out. At least you could say I've been knocked out by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, he's breathing very heavily at the moment, DKU. And Manny Pacquiao being very selective in his work right now. 2-0 Manny, says Xander Zilla. I agree with you, my good friend. Very much so. I mean, Manny... Manny still has that boxing IQ. He knows when to come in. He knows when to get out. He knows when to go upstairs. He knows when to go downstairs. Really, really good. For God's sake. Sorry. Anyway, third round. Here we go. Sorry, it is 1 minute 50. Hate it when all of a sudden there's two minute rounds and my muscle memory is always used to press in the number three. DKU with some more jabs. Or oh, overhand left by Manny there. Oh, and then a big right hand and DKU's rocked. DKU was a little bit rocked there. Manny could rib shot KO this guy anytime he wanted. I agree, mate. DKU not of the races here today. Manny with a one, two, three. Or oh, nearly lands to the body on DKU. How many body shots can DKU take before he's out of there? One, two, three from Manny. DKU holds on. DKU bows in front of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao goes to the body. Jab from Pacquiao. Wants to go the distance just like Rocky. Let's see what happens, guys. Pacquiao steps forward again. DKU closing up with that high guard. And Pacquiao, though, is always going to find a way through that. Because what he'll do is he'll go to the body, bring your hands down, and then go upstairs. 
Jab by Pacquiao. One, two by DKU. He finally throws something other than a jab. Pacquiao to the body. He gets DKU on the ropes. He goes left hook, right hook, and then DKU again holds on. Again he holds on. And everyone's shouting DKU, I think. Oh, big right hand by Pacquiao. It's hurt. DKU. DKU retreats to the ropes. And then he hugs and he holds on with 15 seconds to go. Will he survive another round, DKU? 10 seconds to go. Manny steps forward. Oh, DKU's stumbling around like me on a Saturday night after 10 tequila shots. And DKU has lost that round significantly. And I feel it's only a matter of time. If Manny wants to finish it before he does finish it, DK is running for his life, Xander Zilla. Manny wants it to be dramatic. Well, it is looking pretty dramatic at the moment. Let's see what happens in the next round as we enter the fourth round of six. Will Manny get the finish here? I mean, it's been pretty exciting. I will say that. All thanks to Manny. Not really any thanks to DKU. How is he a master? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Oh, really good right hand. Oh, how is he a martial arts master? No idea. No idea. It's made him look like an absolute fool. I mean, all those little people following on YouTube are going to be in for some real, uh, real tr home truths when they realize the guy that they've been following for all their martial arts, martial arts uh, knowledge... He's just an absolute fraud. He takes a while to get off of his corner, DKU, and gets straight back on that jab. Straight left by DKU. Manny closes up. Manny's just waiting. He's going to explode into life at some point in this round. I'm telling you. And I've done it again. I've done it again. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry for that. There we go. DK is just moving backwards every time. Pacquiao, all he has to do is... That. And that's disappointing for me because DKU is the bigger man and he's being hunted down here. Pacquiao goes downstairs to the body. How many more of these body shots can DKU take before he's just completely gassed out? Manny with a big right hand again. Yeah, sorry, Lexi. I understand what you mean now. That's what he's known as. It's not what I think he is. Pacquiao hasn't even had to use the jab today. He hasn't even had to use the jab. He could just come forward and, and throw whatever shot he wants. Oh, good right hand there by Pacquiao. And DKU just loses his footing ever so slightly. Oh, good re right hook there from DKU. That's the best shot of his fight so far. And they're tied up in the corner right now. They are tied up in the corner. Pacquiao bouncing around DKU in the corner is he's breathing heavily. The referee just gave him some time there. And Manny lands again and DKU slips to his knees. And, and DKU is so tired right now. DKU's like me. He's done an all-nighter. Has he done an all-nighter? Oh, he's hurt his ankle, DKU. He's just spinning his ankle round. And we get going again here. Manny Pacquiao pieces him up on the ropes and DKU... It's been called off. It's over. It's waved off by the referee. Wait, what? The referee waved it off and now he's waved it back on. <laughs> this. I mean, come on. It's got to be Juan Manuel Marquez, Lexi, for me. That was my favorite Pacquiao fight. The win. No, he's not the winner. They're going again. They've decided, yo, oh, we're not, we're not, we're going to let him go again. I mean, this card is a joke. I know it's an exhibition, but the referee waved it off clear as day. He did that. And now they're seeing, saying, no, we're going to keep going. So does the ref think he's fit, fit enough to keep going or not? Anyway, they talk about protecting fighters. Who really knows? It's the first time I've ever seen it. It's the first time I've ever seen it. I mean, DKU's barely been able to get off his chair here. He's barely been able to get off his chair. I mean, this is disgusting because... I think Manny will, will, will step his foot off the gas here now. How can you call a fight off as a ref? Oh, and he's knocked him back with the right hand, Manny Pacquiao. DKU's got no legs right now. 
He's got no legs. DKU just span it and D what is DKU doing? He started doing all this and started dancing in the ring. I can't wait for him to get knocked out. Big right hand by Manny and then a left. He's retreating. Right hand, left hand. DKU's going to be out of there. Quicker than you could say. Super califragilistic. Left hook, right hook. Referee steps in. He says back of the head. <laughs> back of the head. Shut up, man. What an absolute joke this card is. I'm, I'm embarrassed that I've sat here for five hours covering this. I'm sorry. What on earth? Back of the head. What? We obviously, you get a hit in the back of the head when a guy's spinning round in the ring. I think the referee's trying to take a point away from Manny Pacquiao here. I mean, what is this? What? Oh, of course he hit him behind there because you were doing pirouettes in the ring like a ballet dancer. This is just embarrassing. I'm sorry. This is just embarrassing. We're at 25 seconds on the timer, by the way. What is the point? What is the point? And Pacquiao puts him on the canvas. And the referee says, no, what are you talking about? It's a knockdown. Piss off. Manny's got to finish this here. Right hand by Manny Pacquiao. DKU gets back on that jab. Oh, a stiff jab by Pacquiao. Can DKU survive for, until the final round? He probably will here. DKU ducks down again. Well, now you know why. I'm, I'm embarrassed. What is this? The referee... Gives DKU so much time to recover. Couple of jabs by DKU. I hope Pacquiao takes this cock out. I'm sorry to say it. And that is the end of the fifth round as we enter the final round here. Disgusting referee and disgusting judging. I mean, show some respect for the greatest of all time, surely. Show some respect for him and don't be don't do that. It's a new combo, the spinning master combo. Yeah, what, what a master this guy is of martial arts. What a master he is. He's showing you how to do pirouettes in the ring. He's showing you how to make yourself look like a fool. He's showing you how to only be able to throw one punch, and that's the jab. And it's not a landing jab, it's a jab out of range. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I hate to moan like this, but... It just annoys me. It just does annoy me. Lexi says, boo. Charity says, I think this will be my last <laughs> exhibition fight. The ref have money on DK. Well, the stupid thing is, if it goes the distance, it's a draw anyway. All right. I hope Pacquiao gets the finish. Here we go. Final round. It is two minutes, Liam. Sort it out, mate. Why is the ref taking so long after the bell to get this going? For fuck. For piss sake. Here we go. Yeah, he gave Manny Pacquiao a hug at the start of the round. And he, oh, a good left hand by Pacquiao. I mean, DKU is trying to wrestle him to the ground with a rugby tackle. Will you take away a point from that, will you? Will you take away a point for that? What an embarrassment to the sport. These exhibitions need to stop. Referee takes another 10 seconds to get the fight going again. Pacquiao comes forward again. I mean, the referee's literally allowed him to go the distance here. Pacquiao with a jab. Left hand. Body shots by Pacquiao. Another pirouette from the South Korean. Left hand and he's on the canvas. Pacquiao puts him down clean. Knocked down. Is he going to be able to get up here? He does get up DKU. To his credit. You've got to call this fight off. I mean, why is he not got going again? The count's done. He's called a timeout. Why is he calling a timeout? So he's just stopped the fight. He sent Pacquiao to his other corner. Just call the fight off. So they gave a timeout. For what reason? To give him more time to recover. What? <laughs> Jab by Pacquiao. This is disgusting what we're seeing here. Pacquiao goes to the body. Right hand by Pacquiao. DKU staggers backwards. 
This is hilarious. It's a, it's a carnival. Pacquiao goes left hand, right hand. Will we get another knockdown here? Left hand, right hand. He's on the canvas again. He's on the canvas again. He's ruled it a slip. Oh, for fuck's sake. How is that a slip? What are you talking about, ref? And the bell got to fuck off. What the... What is... What? <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> he, he brought his baggy out, banged him on the chin, and the referee said, no, he slipped. He slipped. I don't know whether they're, they're, they're in an ice rink, but I don't know what the referee's... Man, he's laughing. <laughs> and DKU's going to get his draw. I'm sorry for the language. I'm sorry for the language. YouTube, don't ban me. They're probably going to ban me now. <laughs> I mean, Manny out. Manny out. Manny out. Manny Pacquiao comes forward to the body, to the skull. Tim or Liam lost. I'm sorry. I just... What is this? It's five, five hours we've been here. We've seen robberies. We've seen... We've seen the commission think the fight should have been six rounds when it was four. We've seen a referee call off a fight and then have it back on again. We... It's... It, <laughs> what a shambles. And look, every time that a fighter makes the full rounds, I usually say full respect for making it through. I'm not going to give respect for DKU here because it is, that, was a, that was a joke. Thanks for, making me, thanks for making me laugh, guys. I appreciate it, guys. And we got to 150 likes as well, so that's good as well. I do appreciate it, guys. Manny's just like, what is going on here? And they're going to raise both arms, I think. Oh, geez, this ref is mental. He has a whole effing illness. Oh, my God. That was a bit drastic, Zanderzilla. Come on, mate. Imagine they give the win to DKU. Wait, it's a draw, I think. I don't think there can be a winner. And both of their arms are raised to the sky. It is a draw. <laughs> An exhibition draw. DKU took some hefty damage. And the referee, by the way, that referee should never referee a boxing match again for allowing that to continue. He could have taken some serious damage, DKU. Wait, winner by unanimous decision. Manny pa Oh, we have got a winner. Hey. Manny Pacquiao gets the win. So again, they've had a shambles because they raised both of their gloves to the sky and then all of a sudden they went, you know what, let's just give a win to Manny Pacquiao, which isn't technically possible in an exhibition. So they've just, they're changing their own rules. I mean, how was there not a stoppage there? But oh well, Desidu says, bruh, let's go. I'll see if we hear from Manny Pacquiao and then we'll we'll leave it there. Manny Manny deserved it. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. They both raised their gloves to the sky. I mean, look, it's difficult for DKU. He got there in against the best ever, but I don't like to see a referee basically rigging it. Bad event, great show. Thanks for making this fun for us, Liquidator. Appreciate it, Trouty, with the five Canadian dollars. Really do appreciate that, mate. Uh, it goes a long way. Um, of course, it will go into the Liquidator pot of money and we'll invest it back into the stream, of course. Thank you, Trouty. Absolute legend, mate. You might hear from Pacquiao here. Let's listen in. Thank you, Trout. Don't know if you're already on the top tippers. I'll check that after the stream, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, apparently this is the Instagram Bruce Lee. <laughs> Xanderzilla, just be careful about your language, mate. We don't want to get the stream pulled.
Did the commentator just say that he thought DKU could be a pro fighter if he put his mind to it? For God's sake. No, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. How did it feel being the back in the ring tonight, Manny? He said, in the ring. He said, especially for this charity exhibition match, it feels good. He says, I'm going to continue my training. Did DK's movement surprise you? And he says, no, no, no. He says, I can move also like that. I like that from Manny. I like that from Manny. Thank you, Lexi. Appreciate it. It's saying, will Mayweather accept an exhibition match for you? Manny said, I have no idea. He always changes his decision. Thank you, it's an honour. Are we going to hear from DKU as well, hopefully? This is just absolutely unacceptable. DK needs to stop. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. Trouty book trout. Let's end the poll because after 2,000 or so votes... 93% of people went for Manny Pacquiao, 6% for DKU. Will we get a Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather exhibition in the future? Let's see. I'm not sure we're going to hear from DKU here. We'll just wait and see. I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. To be honest, I don't really want to hear from DKU. I'm going to wrap it up there. It's been a very, very long stream. We need Swarms versus DKU, maybe. Thank you guys so, so much for joining. It was good to see Manny Pacquiao back tonight. Maybe he'll have a professional bout in 2023. Maybe against Terence Crawford. Maybe against Errol Spence Jr. But if we saw uh, Crawford's knockout against Avanision today... Manny Pacquiao needs to be very, very careful. Make sure, guys, if you haven't already, you do like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. We got there. We got there. And it's all thanks to you, people. Keep yourselves safe, happy, and healthy. Do the same for your families. And I'll catch you in the next stream. Peace out. England, it will come home one day. Goodbye, my good friends. See you later.